We're about to get underway here. The referee is Mark Clattenburg. He's just waiting for television to tell him it's all right to start the game. Uh, quickly, the Chelsea team, uh, goalkeeper and captain today, Czech. Uh, defenders Ivanovic, Luis, Cahill and Cole. Then Mikel and Ramirez. Hazard, Oscar and Mata. And finally Torres as the referee blows his whistle. Manchester United appear to be lining up in a 4-5-1 formation. Uh, their goalkeeper is De Gea. The defence, Rafael, Ferdinand, Evans and Evra. Then in midfield, Valencia, Rooney, Carrick, Cleverly and Young. And finally, Van Persie. Though you would expect, Pat, uh, both Ashley Young and particularly Wayne Rooney to get forward in support of Van Persie as often as possible. Yeah, it is interesting. The system, they seem to have settled in there almost a 4-1, 4-1. You know, oh, we, Carrick's dropped yeah, back a little bit, has, yes. hasn't he? Just right from the start there, I was with you, 4-5-1, but Carrick, he's sitting in that area trying to kill the space that obviously you know, Chelsea's Mata, Oscar and Hazard want to run into, and we expected him to do that, but cleverly a little bit further forward. Yeah, it, it's fascinating tactically, but we'll get goals, we hope. And that's probably... Well, we'll uh, get chances. That's anyway. probably a foretaste of a nil-nil. Well, but we'll it? get creation, we'll get chances. We'll say that much. Louise battered the ball towards the right side, towards one matter. It's headed out of play by the United captain, Evra. And it's going to be a throw into Chelsea. Liverpool with the edge of the United penalty area. Uh, Chelsea all in blue, apart from their white socks. Attacking the end of the Matthew Harding stand. That's the way to our right. Ball flicked in towards Oscar into the penalty area. And it's well defended there by Rio Ferdinand. Uh, heading it out of play on the far side of the field. By the way, when the, the announcer was going through the teams, it was pitiful that Ferdinand's name was booed. And uh, along with Everett's as just well. Just pitiful. But that's just that's football fans' way. By the way, the little through ball there by Mata. Don't like to use the word too much. Genius. Yeah, he, Oscar he, couldn't go in. I saw him last brilliant. Saturday uh, at Tottenham. He was fantastic. So, glimmer of an opportunity there for Chelsea in the opening couple of minutes here. We're listening to five live in the BBC. Clever. Uh, finding Rooney and back now to Carrick, who certainly is playing just in front of the Manchester United back four. Raphael forward to Rooney over the halfway line. Rooney takes it well, running away from Mikel. Finds cleverly, almost in the centre spot, and now near side of the field. Patrice Evra. Uh, back to cleverly. Cleverly to Carrick. And Carrick uh, declined to pass it to Rooney. Find Van Persie instead. Van Persie shoots! Straight at the goalkeeper check. Van Persie. Of course, got a hat trick here last season for Arsenal. First big mistake by David Luiz. Once again, tries to nick in in front of Van Persie. Do you know what? You do that, you nick in, you get the ball in front of him. Well done, great play. See, if you don't, you only get it wrong one. Once in a game, you lose the, game, you lose the goal. I'll tell you what, a very, very poor de defender from Luiz. Can't afford to let a quality player like that turn on you. And well done, Van Persie, for realising it. Ramirez uh, to Mikel. Back now to Luiz. The action still inside the Chelsea half. Uh, what's going on here? Yep. Well, Ashley Young's furthest yeah, forward. Yeah, you know. yeah, adapt it. And Young gets the ball, a pass forward from Rooney. Rooney's available again. Rooney into the penalty here. Angles a cute. Play it back, Van Persie in the boat. And it ricochets onto a Chelsea defender and over the line. It's unquestionably an own goal. But Manchester United have the lead in the first four minutes. Fantastic break. Great, uh, great pace there. Ball hits off the post, a very unlucky, they deserve the goal out of it because it was a great move down the right hand side. But you see Ashley Young, great pace, he gets in there, he frightens the life out of the Chelsea defence. Eventually comes to a cut back there. When it's cut back, Chelsea are all over the place, but Rooney looks for Van Persie. It's that understanding that I was explaining before the game that I was excited about. Those two will always find each other. Bounces off the post. Lees hits him, nothing he can do about no, it. Nothing goal. he can do. Um, <laughs> I mean, it hit uh, the backside of one of his thighs. I so, say, but but, but for, for anyone who's not a Man United or Chelsea fan, exactly what you want at the start of this game. An early goal, it will be open. By the way, we did expect goals, didn't we? We did. We did say that. Um, well, we saw six of them last season, 3-3. Three, three. Chelsea having gone 3-0 up and seemingly out of sight. <laughs> no. Manchester United with a familiar comeback and to be fair on that occasion I think Chelsea were flattered more than flattered by a 3-0 scoreline so Manchester United in front their fans away to our left uh, celebrating rather early we haven't even played five minutes here on five live in the game of the weekend 
Chelsea nil, Manchester United won. And do you know what was interesting? It was the fluidity of United's play. Um, making yourself notice very quickly there that there was a change in position from Young that he'd stayed up when Van Persie had gone and filled in for him. And it's the fact that those players, Rooney and Van Persie and Young, and, and it doesn't matter, Welbeck will do the same when he comes on, they're totally and utterly interchangeable. They know the system. It, just, it doesn't matter who's in which position. They will all get back into their own positions. That's why Young found himself on his own up front using his pace and Van Persie, and it confuses the life out of defenders. I think Manchester United's defence will have caused for confusion uh, on occasion in this game because they trio of Chelsea players in midfield, Hazard, Oscar and Mata, they all interchange. And it, it's wonderful to see, and it's because of their immense technical ability. Manchester United have the lead here, an own goal by Louise. Raphael with a throw-in for United on the far side of the field in their red shirts. Uh, white shorts, black socks. Uh, Rooney didn't capitalise, but the ball breaks towards Van Persie, who's robbed by Louise, and it's now with Gary Cahill. Score of a sumptuous volley in White Hart Lane. On to Mata, back to Mikel, and Mikel to Cahill once more. Ivanovic is a couple of yards in from this near touch line. That's the Chelsea right in the first half. Louise has the ball. On now to Juan Mata. Oscar and Hazard in central positions, not that far behind Torres. The ball goes towards the right side as uh, a punter, a Chelsea punter, makes his way into the ground rather later than probably he hoped for. Maybe the tube isn't running properly. Ball's out of play on the near side of the field. It's going to be a throw into Manchester United. Chelsea fans in the main stand thought it should have been theirs. Ever with a throw to Cleverly. And Cleverly uh, finds Young. Young, lazy pass. Taken up now by Torres. Right side of the penalty. Torres chips it in. Good control by Oscar. And then, uh, having brought the ball under control, he thought with his right foot, in went Rio Ferdinand. And the clearance is out of play. Chelsea throw in is the result. Ivanovic throws. Uh, it looked like a a handball by uh, Hazard not given in any way Manchester United have possession and he's uh, put out a playoff Oscar for a throw in on this near side of the field intriguing with all the build up here we've not talked about the most expensive player in British football Torres' name has hardly been mentioned no. if we have mentioned it at he all said what, he said one touch he said one touch so far and uh, you know he's limited involvement in the game so far a lot's needed of him this season for Chelsea if Chelsea are going to win anything and certainly in games like this he really has to turn up, he has to work hard. Well, the champions, Manchester City, won yesterday, of course, so the gap between them and Chelsea at the start of this match down to one point. And Manchester United, you know, despite this great start of the season for Chelsea, if United can win here at Stamford Bridge for the first time in a decade, then uh, it's very congested at the top of the table. Chelsea will still be top, whatever happens. Ivanovic. Uh, to Cahill, and Luis says, give it to me, and the Brazilian takes it up, just left of the centre circle, moving over the halfway line now, taps it to the left side, and Oscar's retreated there, uh, exchanges passes with Mata, as we welcome listeners to the BBC's World Service, welcome to Stamford Bridge, I'm afraid you've already missed a goal, Chelsea nil, Manchester United 1, uh, an own goal by David Luiz, Ramirez comes forward, looked to have been tugged back there uh, by uh, Cleverly, but the referee didn't see anything wrong. It was Mark Clattenburg, but Manchester United lose the ball over the halfway line. Big difference between those midfields that we know are very, very talented. The work rate going back for the United players has been absolutely brilliant so far. Epitomised by Wayne Rooney, but also Ashley Young. What a pair of work he's done defensively already. Yeah. Uh, Rooney's in a midfield role at the moment. The ball is with Ramirez. Another of the Brazilians in the Chelsea lineup. Forward to. Hazard, who attempted a back heel to Torres, didn't come off, it was well read by Rafael. Rooney takes it up, finds Valencia on the far side of the field. Um, an exchange of passes between the pair, and now Carrick. Uh, back to Evans, and Evra, near side. Oh, in the absence of the injured Vidic, Evra is the skipper. And remember, uh, Manchester United are also without Jones and Smalling. Oh, all three of those players would expect to be in that defence, I would have thought. I agree with you about Raphael, by the way, in terms of his defending. Just if you're the only had a chance to go at him regularly, I mean, I was always surprised. They often play Hazard out there on the left-hand side. He should be trying to ask him a question constantly. Evans swings the ball forward. It's a glancing header on by Young towards Everett. Everett has uh, rolled over. 
And I have to say, has I, the impression of being injured here. I have to say, Ivanovic's tackle for me there was a bit of a scissor. I think that was a wee bit naughty from Ivanovic. You never know with players these days if he is wrong about it, if there is anything wrong with him. But I just, my first look at it was it was a scissors tackle there. A really hard tackle there by Ivanovic. Well, Everett is feeling it. He got a bit of the ball, but certainly he got a bit of yeah. uh, the defender. Yeah, and he also, you know, he, he caught his studs, I think, Evra. I have to say, that challenge. 15 years ago, you say that is an absolutely brilliant tackle. Well done, mate. You got him and the player. These days, it should be a yellow card. These days, you say Minimal. it's reckless. Yes. Uh, well, Everett is feeling it. I think he'll be fit enough to resume. He's back on his feet. Oh, I'll, back tell on you, I'll tell you what, that's... Unacceptable from Van Persie there. Chelsea have had to kick the ball out and now they're put in a position when they had good possession, but he's not allowing Chelsea to get good possession. He's pushed Chelsea in their own half. That's, uh, shall we say, clever. Oh, good feeling between the sides. <coughs> not. Manchester United lead 1 0. Van Persie's shot, rebounding off the post and hitting David Luiz for an own goal. Here's Ramirez for Chelsea. On to Matt, a great ball to Torres on the right side. That's Promising this for Chelsea. Hasn't makes a run towards the near post. There's the cross into the penalty. Oscar tried to chest it back towards Mata. I think he may have used his arm there. Play continues. Chelsea still at the four. Uh, left side, but it's being allowed to bounce beyond uh, the full-back hole and out by Rafael for a goal. It's kick. a very common thing that happens here with uh, Fernando Torres. He finds himself wide, gets into really good areas and puts a cross in to no centre-forward generally. You know, getting into that box there, you'll find us... Hazard's very good at finishing, Mata's particularly good at finishing, but the amount of times that he actually goes wide, Fernando Torres, and that's just the way the system works. Too many infants in the crowd at Stamford Bridge who just want to boo Rio Ferdinand. Grow up. Manchester United on the attack. Now, ball played down the right side. Valencia deep inside the Chelsea half. Uh, Van Persie's in there. Van Persie 2-0! Totally unmarked. Seven yards out. So easy, great cross from Valencia. Fabulous finish from Van Persie, his ninth goal of the campaign. And Manchester United, within 12 minutes, are 2 0 clear. I mean, it's almost shocking how much time he had in there. Getting to the byline, very, very easy. But the ball was zipped, and that was actually a brilliant ball in there by Valencia. I mean, Chelsea have got plenty of players in there. They should be able to defend well enough. Actually, Cole's caught a little bit out of position. It's when through David Luiz's legs, I grant you that, before it comes over to Robin Van Persie. They take away nothing from United there. It's really nice zipped in cross. And if you want to go and stand in the right position, it's just outside that six yard box for a cutback. But again, I emphasise what I said before kickoff. That is not defending that will uh, retain the Champions League title for Chelsea. And we've seen how vulnerable Manchester United have been defensively this season. It's great for the for the Barclays Premier League. We all revel in the number of goals that we see. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But it's very, very entertaining. Having said that, from plenty of years I've watched um, Premier League football, and well, everybody else was seeing how wonderful it is. I thought it was pretty average. Um, I enjoy watching this, but that's my personal opinion. Uh, a goal at Newcastle. Alistair Yeomans. An equaliser for West Bromwich Albion, across from the left-hand side from Zoltan Gira, a header at the far post by Romelu Lukaku. Apparently Chelsea don't need him. It's Newcastle 1, West Bromwich Albion 1. Thanks, Alistair. That was a 3 o'clock kick-off. And the other one that uh, kicked off at 3, it's Southampton nil, Spurs 2. And in the Merseyside derby, uh, concluded some time ago now, Everton 2, Liverpool 2. Liverpool have been 2 up. And they arguably should have won it. Uh, a Suarez goal wrongly ruled out for offside. Here, Chelsea 2 0 down. Remember, they were 3 0 up against Manchester United in the same meeting last season, so they'll not be too despondent, apart from some of the defending. Louise clears it upfield. Louise again has to head it down as it was knocked forward by Rio Ferdinand. Now, uh, taken up on the far side of the field by Eden Hazard, the Belgian. Midway inside the Manchester United half already. He's got Oscar available, but he taps it behind the Brazilian to Cole. Now Oscar takes it up, feeds Ashley Cole once more. Mikel back to Louise. Cahill available as the balls play through the centre circle. Nearly a quarter of an hour played here on Five Live in the World Service and the BBC. Great first opening period for Manchester United, who lead by two goals to nil. One matter uh, for Chelsea. Uh, to Azad, Mata again, onto Torres, edge of the penalty chair, 
Torres though surrounded by red shirts and loses the ball uh, watching him at White Hart Lane last Saturday Pat Nevin you know I thought it was an unselfish display by uh, Torres and yeah. he actually contributed to that great Chelsea performance yeah but unfortunately for him I think he ran his legs out by the time he got over to Shakhtar the next there was nothing left so I gather I didn't see that and game. you can notice that there's a little bit of that in Torres and even the little one piece of good play we've seen from the game so far down the right hand side I thought he was actually quite slow getting away down the right-hand side. He got the cross in, but it looks a little bit leg-weary to me, and I wouldn't be surprised if he sees Sturridge at some point uh, this afternoon for Chelsea, and maybe, I won't say we won't be in the first half, but sooner rather than later, it won't be the last five minutes. Certainly Chelsea have to do something. They would love to get a goal back. Ivanovic with the throw to Torres. Torres takes it on his chest. Uh, held off cleverly, but the ball squirted away from his possession, and Manchester United had the ball again. Rooney uh, to Valencia on the far side, on to Raphael, Van Persie furthest forward, he's through the middle, uh, Ashley Young is down the left side, the ball goes out of play though on the far side of the field, it must have fit a Manchester United body last, because it's a throw into Chelsea, nearly 16 minutes played, Chelsea nil, Manchester United 2, here's Hazard, uh, a moment ago he was on the left side, now he's on the right, on to Ivanovic, the fullback. Hazard takes it up, again, into the Fenlier, good work from the Belgian, the cross was... Uh, under hit though, met at the near post and cleared by Manchester United and then it's out of play and there will be a throw into Chelsea interesting to see Hazard there goes on the right hand side, he looks a little bit more comfortable going down there today on the left hand side keeps on cutting inside, easy to mark not so the right hand side there Ivanovic to take the throw in level with the edge of the United penalty, it's a poor throw headed away easily uh, by Manchester United and then a, a footy clearance to the halfway line, Luis for Chelsea, uh, to Cahill, Cahill on to Ivanovic once more, Ivanovic back to Cahill, of course Manchester United playing two genuinely wide players in Young and Valencia mean that Cole and Ivanovic will really have to pick their moments in terms of when to go forward, Mikel uh, to Mata, back to Ramirez, Ramirez now finding Oscar, Oscar, uh, oh, too precise a pass, very interesting. easily uh, read oh, and yeah. intercepted. Yeah, the when you're ready to lose possession, the kind of seed dominance of that, that deep line area, I'll finish that off in a second. Uh, yeah, United have lost possession now, and it's up with Fernando Torres. Uh, Torres overhits that pass to his uh, fellow Spaniard, Mata, and it's behind for a goal kick. Which almost summed up what I was going to say. The kind of seed dominance in that area, and they fall back to about 30, 35 yards. As if to say to Chelsea, are you good enough to play through us? You know, there's going to be nine of us here. Are you good enough to play through us? I think Sir Alec feels that when Chelsea have been found out this season, they've played against teams that have sat back a little bit and squeezed that space. And he feels his defenders are good enough and his defensive midfielders are good enough to strangle Chelsea in that area and break with pace. I think that's worked quite well for them so far. Uh, clever, he does well to find Young and into Rooney. And Rooney, glorious ball to the far side in Valencia. Valencia, provider of the second goal the cross for Van Persie, Valencia forward, edge of the penalty area, tries to snap it across one forward, blocked by Ashton Cole, and it's behind for a corner to Manchester United. It so suits the way Manchester United are playing here, how about quick that break was, and most of them seem to be going up the right-hand side here towards Valencia, but uh, Chelsea are trying to put as many players forward as possible when they have possession, but they're not zipping it quick enough, and when they lose it, United, within three or four passes, they're almost on the byline at Chelsea's byline. Van Persie to take the corner, surely can't go 3-0 to United this early. Left foot in towards the near post and headed away by Mikel. And last further upfield by Hazard. Dropping towards, guess who, Rio Ferdinand? Bood. Ferdinand did well, concentrated and keeping the ball for United. Collected now by Rooney towards the left side. Typically unselfish uh, role play by Wayne Rooney today. Largely in midfield and did he mean that pass if he did no it was... <laughs> well, complete miss hit I think <laughs> it looked like a miss hit but it still find a red shirt and now Van Persie on the far side to Rooney Rooney leaves the ball cleverly for cleverly and then cleverly scoops it towards the left hand side thinking that Ever was there he's not and it's out of play for a Chelsea throw 19 minutes played Manchester United 2-0 up the last league win here at Stamford Bridge was in 2002 but they are unbeaten against Chelsea in their last five meetings. That's all competitions, including last season's game here, a thrilling 3-3 draw when they were 3-0 down. 
Here's Ramirez. No Lampard today, remember. Um, Lampard's injured. Uh, Kagawa, the Japanese midfield player for Manchester United, he's injured too. He'll be out for four weeks. Mata, back to Oscar. Uh, Hazard down the right at the moment. Mata takes it off again. Oscar once more uh, for Chelsea. It's a little slower than the football I witnessed from Chelsea last They've no weekend. Way to go. They've nowhere to go, though, haven't they? Man United have just done exactly the same again. That 30 to 35 yard line, stopping there, saying, Are you good enough to get through us? Oh, cleverly makes a mistake. Ivanovic takes the ball off him, but the cross is over hit. Oscar cannot keep it on playing the far side of the field, and it's out for throwing. That's a bad mistake there by Cleverly. The last thing you want to do there is miss a tackle, because if you miss a tackle, the entirety of your midfield is out of the play there. So his manager will not be happy with him, and not only his manager, Wayne Rooney's turned around and give him a piece of his mind as well. Uh, Roman Abramovich, Abramovich uh, just caught on camera, looking predictably glum. His team 2-0 down after 20 minutes play here at Stamford Bridge. Five live in the World Service, bringing in the commentary in the BBC. Ivanovic drives the ball long, uh, Raphael with a header back, and De Gea gathers the ball. De Gea... Uh, retained in the United goal today, uh, though Lindegaard is on the bench once more. What do you reckon about Sir Alex still choosing between the two? Well, I, was in, I was very intrigued. I was uh, watching the, the Stoke Manchester United game very closely and was quite surprised that he chose to hear in front of Lindegaard for that one. But it has to be said, Lindegaard did very, uh, sorry, De Gea did very well in that game, so it may well be that he, had, he was tested in that one. I think Lindegaard was holding a lot of injury. And the fact that he coped with Stoke on that occasion, it's probably given Sir Alex that his thoughts are now finalised. He's got it to hear as his man until the next mistake. Ivanovic forward to uh, Hazard down the right side. Hazard forced to retreat, place it back to Ivanovic. Uh, oh, then Ivanovic. Uh, his return ball to Hazard, poorer behind the Belgian, and it's out of play for a throw into Manchester United, who lead here by two goals today. I think the thought in my mind about you know mixing and matching De Gea and Lindegaard is that you know, d different goalkeepers have different relationships with their back four. Absolutely, yeah. And, that, you and know, it's an ever-changing ever exactly. back four for Manchester United this season as well because of injuries. They're on the attack though. Valencia to Rafael. Across came Luis. Luis got to the ball first and then he's given it away. Poor from the Brazilian defender. Rafael with a cross. That's over hit beyond Ashley Young and it's behind for a goal kick. Yeah, and at the moment, uh, big mistake from Louise there. He thought Oscar had gone inside. He hadn't he'd gone outside of him there, passed the ball into no one. But the big problem actually came a lot further forward than that. Oscar isn't really travelling back. And when Rafael leaves him, it leaves Ashley Cole two and one. Valencia is playing against two. Valencia and Rafael are going at Ashley Cole, who's on his own. He's beginning to look bad now, but he's getting absolutely no help in front of him. We've already had two goals, we're midway through the first half. How many more goals to come? Mike Ingham. Well, here's a chance for Chelsea. They have a free kick. Ramirez has been brought down 25 yards away from De Gea's goal. In the meantime, let's go to Ali Bruce Ball at Southampton. Southampton back in the game. Southampton 1, Tottenham 2. Jay Rodriguez has scored. Danny Fox's corner swung into the near post. Gallas left the post, so Friedel had to get down to palm it away. And Rodriguez jumped in on the rebound and slammed it into the net. Southampton 1, Tottenham 2. Still Newcastle 1, West Bromwich Albion 1, and earlier Everton 2, Liverpool 2. So David Luiz, who's maintained his record of scoring in this fixture, uh, scored for Chelsea in the previous two appearances he had against Manchester United. Of course, he's scored at the other end today against his own side, but here's a chance for him maybe to redress the balance. It's a lot further out. Uh, the, the referees move the ball back another two or three yards here. Luiz is poised and Matter is to the right. De Gea is pointing. Manchester United with a wall of six. Louise with the effort. Oh, and it swerved and dipped, and it was kept out in the end by De Gea with his feet. Louise tried to knock it back into the penalty area once more. Manchester United battling to clear this one on the edge of their own penalty area, and then thumped downfield by Michael Carrick. Pat Nevin. Yeah, fantastic ahead by Louise. We know he's capable of doing that. He scored um, against uh, with Northland, wasn't it? Away from home, a fabulous goal from roughly the same position. But he's got it on target, as you correctly say, it's moving all over the place. It looks ungainly from Get the Gear. It was a good save. This is Five Live and BBC World Service. It's an intriguing game, this one. Chelsea nil, Manchester United 2. Ashley Cole allowed to move forward with the ball as Chelsea build on the edge of the area and a driven shot in the end is wide. 
uh, from Oscar. Well, all the talk before the game coming in was about the fantastic movement of the Chelsea midfield players. Well, all the fantastic movement here today so far has been from the Manchester United players. Valencia, Rooney, Cleverly, Young, Van Persie, De Gea clears and also talk about Manchester United conceding, going behind six times in eight games in the Premier League. Now they'll kick themselves if they don't win this game. They're 2-0 up. Chelsea have dug themselves out of holes before here this season at Stamford Bridge. Coming into this match, they did have a 100% record. So Alex Ferguson's having a word with Young, and it's a message to Cleverly, and there's going to be some sort of adjustment here. Yeah, it's interesting to see. They, they had to do a retake of their goal kick. Uh, didn't go outside the box, and that infuriated the Chelsea fans. But Chelsea haven't changed their method. They've, they've kept their method, the three midfielders you talk about. The problem with the three midfielders with Chelsea, you, you know, the, the Hazard, Mas, Mata and Oscar, their passing just hasn't been as good. You know, they have not zipped the ball as quickly as Manchester United have zipped it around. And whoever good your passing is, however quick it is, it's not as quick as, you know, someone running wide with the ball and getting down the line. And they've just had no, no chance of getting that so far. Free kick to Chelsea, the first goal, if you're joining us, in the fourth minute, an own goal from Luis and the second goal in the 12th minute from Robin Van Persie. Uh, six goals in three visits now to Stamford Bridge for Robin Van Persie. Hat-trick last season for Arsenal. Of course, it was United who came to 3-0 down in this fixture last season. Now, Chelsea may have to do the same here today. It's a throw into Chelsea near side. Ivanovic to take it. Ivanovic almost halfway inside the Manchester United half. Thrown down the line, looking for Hazard, it's out of play. And, you know, psychologically, we mentioned it at the time that United clearly won the toss and forced Chelsea to play towards the Matthew Harding stand in the first half. Shouldn't make a difference, but we know they like to play that way in the second half, in the way that Liverpool like to play towards the cop and Manchester United towards the Stratford end. And it's all part of the homework, well, I suppose. I, I, I don't know why more teams don't do it. I mean, it would upset any team. Ball in the United penalty area. It's just lifted out by Evans and now Van Persie proving to be, yet again, a real handful. Uh, and it's a foul by Mikel. On Van Persie, Mark Clattenburg gives a free kick to Manchester United. Well, Alan, well done, Mark Clattenburg, by the yeah. way. He's not got his card out yet, and he's, he's quite card happy sometimes. Alan Green mentioning that Ronan Abramovich is here. Of course, he, in the Abramovich era, Chelsea have never lost at home to Manchester United in the Premier League, ten years. That's but, a fantastically proud record. There's not many clubs that could say that, if any. But, of course, United did win that big Champions League game here when Rooney got the goal for them a couple of seasons ago. Now Young, who's making a difference. Young and Evra linking. Young now, returning the ball to Evra. Danger, Rooney's calling for it. Evra's dangerous more across the area. And Cahill just managed to get a foot on it, and it was enough as now it's thumped downfield by Ivanovic. It hasn't travelled very far, and it's gone out of play for throwing down this near side to Manchester United. That was a terrific ball in from Evra. And Once again, just getting behind the full max. Nothing more complicated, mate. We were asking about wingers before the game. Mark was asking about it before the game as well. And I'll tell you what, they've used it very, very well indeed, Manchester United. The two goals coming from balls in from the right. Rooney with the first uh, ball in, and then Valencia with the second. Now Chelsea. 2-0 down here at Stamford Bridge. Not many times do we watch a Chelsea side without Terry and Lampard, of course. They're both sitting watching today. Terry suspended, Lampard injured, Ramirez now to Matu, who's not had much of the ball at all yet. Uh, Chelsea with Ashley Cole over on the left. Matu once more, but uh, United really pressing and forcing Chelsea back all the time in midfield. Not easy at the moment for Chelsea to open up Manchester United. Ball back with Cahill. Cahill right across the field to Luiz. Luiz into the Manchester United half. Luiz looking for Hazard, a slip there on the ground by one of the United defenders, Rio Ferdinand it was. Matu now. But again, Manchester United's midfield are pushing Chelsea back all the time to the halfway line. Ivanovic, Chelsea having to stay patient here. Mata with the ball in the centre circle, feeding Ashley Cole. Hazard's made a run down the left, goes instead behind to Luiz. Torres waiting. Uh, Chelsea building with Mata once more, and now Luiz. Luiz for Mikel, 2-0 to Manchester United. Little floater from Mikel towards Torres. He won't get it. Evans is making sure as well. It's a goal kick to Manchester United. At any part of that play there, and it was a minute or two that Chelsea had the ball passing it about, do you think Manchester United felt under pressure? Or do you think they felt really quite comfortable with plenty of players behind the ball and didn't look as if they were going to be broken through? I think they're well organised today, United. For what is supposed to be a dodgy defence, though, this will be a supreme test for them, but now it's a test for Chelsea because Valencia is breaking dangerously for Manchester United from the angle, and Cahill threw himself at it, and Valencia's won a corner. Good smothering challenge from Gary Cahill. 
maybe Valencia, I don't know whether, whether he should have found somebody in well, a better well, position. Well, certainly Ashley Young was he's on yeah. his own, absolutely free and free, as free as free could be. And if he spots somebody, I mean, sometimes it's a difficult one to do, but if you're a wide player, that's, that's your game. You, got you his, need to be able yeah. to look up and see that. Got his head down a bit, Valencia. And he's obviously saying that he didn't see him. I'm always surprised to see Van Persie taking corners, but he will <laughs> take this corner over on the Manchester United right. They lead 2-0. Carrick's inside the six-yard area. In comes the corner from Van Persie. Comes out of the area. Young decided not to shoot, but to find Rooney. Rooney squirts one in and check under the crossbar. Makes an important save. Fortunately for him, it was only up against Patrice Evra. He was able to beat him, and now Chelsea trying to come on the counter-attack but it's immediately won back by Manchester United. They've only kept one clean sheet, by the way, this season. That was against Wigan. So this will be a, a test for them to hold on, but surely now 2-0 up. They must get something from the game. United... For, me, for me, mate, Chelsea, Chelsea aren't working as hard as Manchester United. You said they break there. They were trying to break. You're absolutely spot on. It was two against five, and the five were Man United players. All the football's coming from Manchester United, and here comes Rafael now with Van Persie looking to make a run. He goes to Valencia. Valencia down the right-hand side. That's where all the danger is. Ashley Cole this time managed to get a block in. Valencia once more, turning and facing Ashley Cole. Rafael has stayed forward. Cole is sticking to his guns. It's a great ball from Valencia, though, to Rafael. Rafael back to Carrick, who eases the ball now to Young. Young is really making a difference on his return. Very lively. Valencia now. Doesn't get the cross in yet. Rafael's in the penalty area. Valencia dilly-dallied, but it now drops to Rafael. There's no room for him, though. He's taking the ball out of the penalty area. Played Young into difficulty. Rooney now beaten by Hazard, but in comes Evans to win the ball back for Manchester United. They're just playing at a higher level here, Manchester United. Great ball from Rooney. Young's touch to Cleverly. Cleverly down the United left-hand side. Chelsea struggling to get the ball. Manchester United losing, leading 2-0. Uh, cleverly now, fed by Young. Cleverly to Van Persie, offside. But it was great football, Pat. Yeah, and sharp passing, isn't it? It's just sharp passing. Every single Manchester United player is working that little bit harder, trying to work the Chelsea players, and Chelsea are chasing shadows there. Whereas when Chelsea are passing, it looks a little bit more laboured, and the United players have got themselves behind the ball. In simple terms, United's system is working a hundred times better than Chelsea's at the moment. Something has to be changed by Roberto Di Matteo. Has he got it in his locker to change it against the old master? Benefiting also perhaps from the fact that they played in Europe at home this week, Manchester United. Chelsea had that difficult journey to Ukraine, and... United made more changes than Chelsea as well for their European game. United knew they couldn't, they can't afford to lose this. They've already lost twice this season. If they were to lose today, three out of nine, a third of the games lost. This is a big one. Chelsea 100% at home, but 2-0 down. Unbeaten start to the season. Cleverly fouled by Ramirez. Chelsea got real problems here. Uh, just not in the game with 32 and a half minutes gone in the first half. There's no attempt to adapt to either, either as a make... Um... The three Chelsea players warming up down there. I wouldn't be surprised. Sturridge obviously has to be one of them because, once again, Torres uh, having no great effect on the play whatsoever. But he would argue he's not getting any service. Rio Ferdinand now. This time it's a long ball, looking to play the ball over Luis. And Van Persie's onside. Valencia makes a break down the right-hand side. Van Persie tried to thread a ball through to Cleverly. Ambitious ball, that, by Van Persie. The better option might have been nearer to him through Valencia. Now Chelsea looking to try and counter-attack Hazard on the right-hand side. Right across the field finds Matter. Chelsea need to respond quickly if they're to get into this game. Manchester United leading 2-0 at Stamford Bridge. Matter, hopeless ball really for Hazard to control, but then Manchester United almost give it away, and Rooney thrashes it back downfield. And Cech, who's the captain in the absence of Terry and Lampard, feeds Gary Cahill. Cahill and Di, Di Matteo's down there watching, almost on the pitch. Mikel inside the centre circle. Mikel now, Chelsea with Hazard, back again to Mikel. Matt had made a run forward, but Chelsea playing a little slowly. Mikel's ball over the top, Torres offside, and free kick to Manchester United. Yeah, it was just about half a yard offside there, but Manchester United once again set back into the system that they're pretty comfortable and just asking Chelsea the questions which they didn't have an answer for. Chelsea have to do something different if they're going to break this down, and whether it's... Ashley Cole going forward on that left-hand side, that's often an out ball for Chelsea. But he's scared to death to do that because he's been torn to shreds this afternoon. They've got to the byline three times over that side. Twice it's led to goals for Manchester United. Everton 2, Liverpool 2, Everton back into fourth place. It's Southampton 1, Spurs 2, latest score Newcastle 1, West Brom 1. Here come Manchester United once more. Oh, Young immediately turns away knowing he made the wrong decision there. Played the ball to the left and Percy broken to the right. And it goes through to check in the 
Chelsea goal. Chelsea nil, Manchester United two. Own goal from Luis, and then one from Van Persie. Of course, ten years ago, when United won here, it was another Dutch van, Van Nistelrooy, who got one of the goals. It might have been the final one, I think. 3-0 victory, and now Mikel for Chelsea. It's all a little bit slow, though, from Chelsea. Ivanovic down the right-hand side. Uh, across comes Oscar. Evra's in close attention, and the ball's out of play. And it's going to be a Chelsea throw-in, and we've just over 10 minutes got to go. In the first half, Mikel's ball in. Oh, off the post from one of the United defenders, Evans. Dangerous ball in, Evans very lucky there. That could have, and he knows it, that could have gone in easily. Yeah, but that not, could have been Chelsea's way back. Yeah, but not his fault. Cleverly, once again, totally and utterly switched off here. His manager will be going mad with them. Corner to Chelsea, 2-0 down. In it comes to Hay, doesn't come for it. Headed down and almost in by... Gary Cahill, they're all standing in front of me here. Yeah, no, it was Gary Cahill. Yeah, it was Gary Cahill, and uh, he's given another corner kick, and it's just luck more than anything else because it was saved on the line. It's not sure who's feet it. Come on, goalkeeper again. Two good saves. Corner kick to Chelsea, 2 0 down, and this time Manchester United managed to get it out of the penalty area. Drops to Mata. Matters ball into the area. Cahill's jumping for it. Rio Ferdinand with a cushion volley away, and now Evans leaves it to Rooney to clear for Manchester United who could be dangerous on the counter-attack. Valencia linking with Rooney. Great pace about the game. Young's touch, misplaced though. And Luis has a chance now for Chelsea. 2-0 they trail at home. Matter now. Chelsea building down the left. And uh, Oscar's causing problems and winning a free kick. First challenge, I think it was Valencia's that was punished by Mark Plattenberg. Yeah, but he worked so hard to get back, didn't he? Oh, he, co he covered so much ground there. That save there was De Gea. De Gea's feet once again. Two great saves in this game so far by De Gea. Corner to Chelsea, uh, free kick, sorry, to Chelsea. Luis has gone into the penalty area. And the free kick is wide on the left-hand side. Free kick to Chelsea, trailing at home, two goals to nil. In it comes, it's really poor. It was deep, it didn't pick out anybody in blue. And Manchester United now looking to... That's a misplaced pass from Carrick towards Young, though. And it gives Chelsea once more a little bit more impetus. In comes a challenge from Cleverly, but Oscar this time is strong. And Oscar's going forward, dangerously for Chelsea. Try to nudge it through to Fernando Torres. It doesn't work, but it's suddenly better and brighter from Chelsea. Manchester United just getting a little casual. Ball with Ramirez. Ramirez now for Mikel. Better momentum from Chelsea. They need to score though before half time. 2 0 down. Mikel for Chelsea. Mikel. 30 yards away from De Gea's goal. Shot driven in from Oscar was ricocheting now to the far side of the field. Torres will keep it in by the corner flag. Fernando Torres attacking Valencia. Torres still being forced deeper by Valencia. Another free kick conceded by Valencia on the edge of the penalty area, right on the edge. Torres is pointing, wants the free kick to be taken quickly. I think he wanted a penalty kick. Yeah, well, he, he was else. very optimistic. <laughs> yes, no, I mean, even from here you could see nowhere near, really. But it's a free kick to Chelsea. And is this a way back for them into the game? You feel if they could score before half-time, it will give them something to really build on in the second half. Ivanovic stands all on his own inside the six-yard area. De Gea presses himself against the post, and Chelsea now contemplate this free kick. Well, uh, certainly David Lees wants to take a shot at goal. That's why he's trying to move it infield about a yard or so. Hazard is with him. Luis, of course, who can really smash the ball from these free kicks. Hazard stands to the left. And Luis thumps it in, United get it away, Young with a header, anywhere will do really, as far away from the goal as possible, Chelsea build again down the left-hand side and it's uh, a throw-in, cleverly managed to get his challenge in, but Chelsea getting much more of the ball just at the moment, but Manchester United lead 2-0, in comes a ball towards the far post, Everett heads it away, Mata gives chase and decides to settle for the throw-in. Quickly taken throw-in, Chelsea realise they've got a little bit of... Oh, that's gone out of play as Mata... Try to play it towards Ivanovic. That was careless from Chelsea. Throw into Manchester United. Seven minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, a little bit of a shame for Chelsea there because they just got a little head of steam up, as you were mentioning, to give the ball away there. Manchester United will slow this down. But I mean, Chelsea were always going to get some part of the game where they had the ascendancy. Not a half chance there from the... But a great save from De Gea. Two good saves so far. Just switching on the radio, you'll be surprised, I think, by the scoreline. 2-0 to Manchester United at Stamford Bridge. Early goals for them, Van Persie got the second, he's now trying to get the better of Mikel down below. Manchester United at the moment are being pushed back by Chelsea, their best spell of the first half, but they need to find some form like this. Uh, and Hazard threw himself down looking for a free kick. And now Rooney being pursued by Ramirez over on the far side. 
Oh, well, I thought Ramirez, with great determination, had won the ball, but the referee completely disagrees because he's given the free kick uh, against you know, the Brazilian. Yeah, again, it's a, a timing issue. His, his tackle was very good indeed. He got the ball, but he's come in from the back, and uh, referees are within the rights these days, and I think there was a little nick when Rooney as he went through. So. Also, I thought Hazard tried to buy a free kick there a few moments ago, threw himself down, referee Mark Clattenburg. Champions League referee so far is having a good game as Carrick now almost played into difficulty manages to get out of it and now Manchester United always dangerous from these wide positions this time it's near side the left Young slightly behind Evra Evra's return ball to Young doesn't work but United still keep possession and Carrick now oh very lazy and very careless finds Mikel Mikel diddy dallys too long though Torres had made a run Matter tackled by Evans in come the challenges from Manchester United and they find they're all standing up in front of us again I think unhappy maybe with one of the challenges there it's United though on the counter-attack with cleverly too much pace on the ball towards Van Persie Cahill from the angle finds his goalkeeper I think they were slightly disappointed with Mikel not making the early pass but Chelsea found herself possibly in the best position they've had in this game and one of the three midfielders that they wanted on the ball there wasn't on the ball it fell to Mikel and he's probably the least creative player on the pitch. Chelsea, unbeaten Chelsea, 100% home Chelsea, nil, Manchester United two. And Luis now for Chelsea. Their initial movement at times a little slow. Long ball from Luis, looking to release Oscar by the corner flag. Oscar thumps the ball into the penalty area. Not high enough to clear Evans, though. And Manchester United now looking with Young to tidy up. But that's Young straight back to Chelsea Blue. Ivanovic near side the right. Ivanovic just inside the Manchester United half finding the Brazilian Oscar, back again for Ivanovic, Torres waits in the area, Ivanovic wins the corner kick off Young, corner to Chelsea, and we're into the last three minutes of the first half, Mata with a Chelsea corner, De Gea sometimes can be very uncertain in these situations, here comes the corner kick for Chelsea, flicked on the net post, forced to Torres, Torres couldn't get it down and couldn't fire it towards goal, and Manchester United clear, but Chelsea looking dangerous, here with Ramirez once more, Torres is calling for it, needs to stay on side. Good ball to Mata down the right, left-footed from Mata, into the area, Torres, great save from De Gea, one-handed, back to Torres once more. Good reaction save from the Spaniard to deny another Spaniard, Chelsea corner. After oh, De Gea is having an absolute blinder this afternoon, two amazing saves with his feet, but that one with his hand up to the right-hand side, a really strong wrist there. Well done, Torres, getting on target. But it, was, it was a great effort from Torres, but the keeper was equal to it. Chelsea corner, their best spell. Can they get something at the end of it? Desperate corner, but then Rooney with a complete miss kick. Uh, and then off the head of Raphael. Means Look, at it's another shaky, corner. They? They look a bit shaky from corners, Manchester United. A lot of big players in that Chelsea team there, obviously. I'll tell you what, it's affecting Man United as they defend it. One matter with a Chelsea corner. They'll all run in towards it, United deal with it on this occasion but Lewis might head it back down in again no he can't, he gives chase he's first to react and he finds Ashley Cole who never goes forward for the corners, Cole's ball in, headed away by Evra United really not crossing the halfway line at the moment, Chelsea are battling well and it's Hazard now for Chelsea and he was brought down from behind by Rooney, Mark Klattenberg finally I think will have to produce a yellow card in the game, he will book Wayne Rooney and for the foul on Hazard and this is a free kick to Chelsea on the edge of the United penalty area. Yeah, but the Senate will say that's a good yellow card to give away because they've been in a very good position there. On the ball, going through towards the D. Hasn't had many yellow cards, Rooney, since he was sent off in Montenegro. Now we've got... Um, that's just perfectly Mata. made for Mata. Yeah, Absolutely perfectly like it, made. It? Luis this time is backing away. In fact, he's going into the penalty area. So it looks like Mata, right at the end of the first half, is going to take on the... Spaniard in the Manchester United goal, De Gea. It's 2-0 to Manchester United. And Chelsea give themselves a lifeline here before half-time. Mata looks favourite. Mata shot! Whoa, great goal, Mata! De Gea dives to the right, can't get anywhere near it. They celebrate all around us. Chelsea got one back before half-time. Chelsea won, Manchester United two. You had to get something back, you felt just now for Chelsea. They've been under the cost for absolutely 30 minutes. Didn't look anywhere close to United, but they've had a good 10 or 15 minutes. And you thought you've got to score A when you're up and B before half time. And they've managed to do so. One matter, Chelsea's player of the year last season. What a strike that is. I was started outside the post, but United are breaking already. Well, from the flow of the of the, the commentary, I'm, I'm, I hope it came through to you that 
that, that Chelsea were starting to get into this game. And we both, in fact, I'm sure we all feel in the, in the commentary box here that it'd be really important for Chelsea to get something back before half-time, just to change the atmosphere in the dressing room. It was all Manchester United in the opening 20 minutes or so. That goal from Mata, how important could that be? It's 2-1 to Chelsea. Now the ball is played to the left-hand side, and Rio Ferdinand is there with a the back pass to De Gea. And that was not a great clearance from De Gea. We're playing an added time here, and here goes Mata. Mata shot straight at De Gea. And having to stand to see over the people in front of us here at Stamford Bridge, as now Torres is late on uh, cleverly. It's one of those days, emotions running high here, and it's a free kick to Manchester United. Yeah, uh, once again, that's, that's four brilliant saves by De Gea so far. And even though they've been in control for long periods again for United here, that is really, really tough. And Chelsea, they've had a lot of chances as the game's going on here. Mark Plattenberg's got his yellow card out again, that time for Fernando Torres. Again, reckless more than being nasty. Free kick to Manchester United. Chelsea 1, Manchester United 2. Playing out of time at the end of the first half here at Stamford Bridge. All United from the start. Chelsea finally have woken up and responded. Took a free kick from Mata to get them back in the game. Manchester United still lead. And of course will be ever dangerous from counter-attacks themselves. And now it's a corner kick to Manchester United right at the end of the first half. And this could be the last action in the first half. Well, two little points to make. A, it was Wayne Rooney who gave away the free kick, which you would think was an intelligent free kick, turned out not to be an intelligent free kick to give away, and he'd lost possession to Oscar in that situation there, so he'll be disappointed with himself. Rooney with a corner, right at the end of the first half. Rooney's corner in is headed away by Mikel. Doesn't drop to Young because Mata took it away from him, and now it's Louise breaking down the right. Louise for Chelsea, coming towards the touchline, and it's a throw. Throwing to Chelsea, added time at the end of the first half. Ball thrown into Hazard, little step over towards Luis. Chelsea have a throw in. Mark Plattenberg playing the last seconds of a, of a riveting first half, really entertaining stuff. We thought there would be goals here today, we've had three already. Luis to Chelsea, not doing much defending at the moment, is he? He's inside United's half and he's winning a corner kick and is the time to take it. Corner kick to Chelsea, right at the end of the first half. Louise shakes his fist at the fans. One big effort right at the end to make it 2-2 at half-time. Chelsea's corner kick, and it goes towards Cahill, headed away by Evans, and that's the end of an incredibly lively first half at Stamford Bridge, with United skating into a 2-0 lead in the first 12 minutes. Own goal from Louise, and then one from Robin Van Persie. Finally, Chelsea got to grips, and Mata pulled a goal back with a free kick. Half-time, Chelsea 1, Manchester United 2. Half time to come, but that's the way it goes. Just uh, De Gea's played really well, Pat. But when you have a look at the replay of Mata's goal, he just moves a tiny yep. bit to his left as Mata hits the ball. Now I don't know whether that's because I don't know a little bit of a gap opened up in the wall or whatever, and it's hard to be no, no, overly critical. Gap. But no, he does no, do so, doesn't yeah, he? Quite simply, he makes a move because he feels that Mata's going to put it in the near post, and he wants to get that little half yard. And it's a game of cat and mouse in those situations. Both players, the goalkeeper and the man who's going to strike the ball, knows exactly what's going on. But how, when it's so fair, considering Manchester United were by some distance a better team for a half an hour and probably deserve to be 2 0 up, and Chelsea did easily the better team for the last 15 minutes, created quite a few chances, and you're absolutely right. I think De Gea has been absolutely fabulous today. I think uh, he's made two great saves with his feet, he's made one absolutely brilliant save from Torres in the right hand there, and Mata was through once as well. And we know how good his finishing has been. So. What we expected was goals, what we expected was a good technical game. We've got it all. And we should make the point, because some people think, oh, why is the goalkeeper using his feet? Well, Pat Jennings was brilliant at it, but the ball does swerve an awful lot more now, and it dips, and you've got to be able to use your feet. In fact, I mean, he literally kicked one of those away to him because the ball moves so much. The, the one that looks, looks the most ungainly is the free kick from David Luiz, and the bend and the movement on it is huge, so there is actually no chance that he's going to be able to react in time for it with his hands and get down to it so what he managed to do on that occasion there was just get his foot in the way so for all the four saves and the fact that Chelsea have hit the goal post as well I tell you what they're making the chances now it's getting more open now and even Manchester United we talked about their fragile defence at the start of the game you're beginning to see the fragility now
In the history of the Premier League, Manchester United have led 2-0 on 346 occasions. They've never lost. They've never lost, and they've only drawn 10 of those. Yeah. So Chelsea are halfway to making that 11. We don't know what's... I mean, anything could happen in the second half. It's one of the most famous uh, sayings in football. You know, 2-0 mm. lead is a dangerous lead because you don't know where to push on. And if you step back, you know their opponents have got nothing to lose. Mm. So, you know, and it's worked against Manchester United here so far, but don't worry, you know, Sir Alec will be in there. He'll be changing it, manipulating a bit, see where the weaknesses are just now. And he'll be having a very strong word with a certain Mr. Cleverly, who's made a few mistakes today, technically, and that is not accepted by Sir Alec Ferguson. Another thrilling game in the Barclays Premier League. Chelsea 1, Manchester United 2 at half-time. Let's go to St Mary's, 3 o'clock kick-off here, and at St James's Park, but it's Southampton, Alistair Bruce Ball. About 10 seconds of added time left for Southampton to try and find an equaliser, which for their second-half performance, I reckon they would deserve it. Southampton 1, Tottenham 2. It was so easy for Tottenham in the first half, not because they were playing particularly brilliantly, just Southampton were, were so poor and, and, and just letting Tottenham control the game. Tottenham 2-0 up at half-time. Goals from Bale and Dempsey, completely different story in the second half. Southampton got their goal uh, midway through this second half. Jay Rodriguez slamming home a rebound. And since then, they've been pressing and pressing and Tottenham have lost all their rhythm and thrust. But they have held on for the three points, Tottenham. The full-time whistle has just blown and they move up to fourth in the Premier League. But my word, Southampton were close to that equaliser. Rodriguez uh, went just wide with a volley. Lambert had a shot blocked, and there were really brave blocks at the end from Kyle Walker and Sandro to keep Tottenham's goal intact. Final score is Southampton 1, Tottenham 2. Now, surely a late winner at Newcastle, Alistair Yeomans. And it's gone to Newcastle United in the third minute of three of stoppage time. Sammy Amiobi honours a substitute. His shot, it went in, as far as I could see, on the far side, in off. Papis Cisse. No time for West Bromwich to get back, surely. They had equalised through Romelu Lukaku and looked good value for a draw, but it looks like Newcastle have taken this. They lead West Bromwich Albion by two goals to one. And at Wembley, the New England Patriots and the St Louis Rams are about to start, Darren Fletcher. They are, Mark. The pre-game show is just about finished. Train have just played. The majority of the sellout crowd are already in their seats ahead of the sixth international series game between the Rams and the New England Patriots. The Rams are the home team. They've won three and lost four of their first seven matches. The Patriots have won four and lost three, and they gave the Tampa Bay Buccaneers a bit of a going over on this very Wembley pitch three years ago in the NFL International Series. Greg Brady alongside me. This is difficult to pick, isn't it, this game? It really is. The Patriots score more points than anybody else in the NFL, but they give up a ton. 23rd all told. The Rams haven't lost yet at home. This isn't exactly a home game, though, so we don't know what to expect. And, Mark, I've just been speaking to the Patriots owner, Robert Kraft, who has reiterated the NFL's desire to bring a permanent franchise to London in the coming seasons. We're just about to kick off here at Wembley. Let's go back to Newcastle then, and Newcastle are going to hold on for this win. Alistair Yeomans. I think they probably will, Mark. Just looking at the replay, it was quite confused. Sami Amiobi cutting in from the left, uh, shot the uh, ball in, and I think it went and off the back of Papi Cisse. Completely wrong-footed Ben Foster. A very fortunate winner for Newcastle United because the final whistle has gone. Newcastle United 2, West Bromwich Albion 1. And he finished 2-2 in the Merseyside derby at Goodison. We'll hear from uh, David Moyes and Brendan Rodgers after the news with Rebecca Pocchiello. On digital radio, digital TV, mobile and online. This is BBC Radio 5 Live. Detectives investigating sexual assault allegations surrounding Jimmy Savile have made their first arrest. The singer Gary Glitter, whose real name is Paul Gadd, is being questioned at a London police station. In Glencoe in Scotland, police say Savile's former cottage was vandalised overnight. The Mayor of New York has ordered 375,000 people to evacuate their homes ahead of the arrival of Hurricane Sandy. The hurricane, which is already more than 600 miles wide, is forecast to collide with a winter storm and cold front at a time when high tides are expected. At least four people have died in northern Nigeria after an explosion at a Roman Catholic church in the town of Kaduna. Witnesses say a car full of explosives was driven into a wall. After a summer of poor crop harvest, increasing numbers of farmers are contacting a national charity for help. The Royal Agricultural Benevolent Institution has also recorded a sharp rise in the amount of money it pays farmers. And a search has continued all day for the skipper of a yacht found beached on the Isle of Wight. The boat was discovered yesterday. 
And a couple of things to mention on the roads there this afternoon. To Derbyshire, the M1 southbound, very slow traffic due to an earlier accident. That's at Junction 29 for Chesterfield, Mansfield. Congestion backing up to Junction 30. The Matrix sign there set to 40 miles per hour. Worcestershire, the M42 southbound, there are delays, one lane's closed. That's because of an accident between Junction 3 for Portway and Junction 2, Redditch. Congestion being reported back up to Junction 4, that's for Shirley Dorridge. And finally, Horsham, the A24 Horsham bypass northbound. It's closed due to a serious accident between Worthing Road, that's the Hoppost Park and Ride Roundabout, and Guildford Road, Old Guildford Road, Farthings Hillway. Rebecca Bucchiello, Five Live Travel. Five Live Breakfast. The International Cycling Union will meet to discuss what they call the exact sporting consequences of the decision to strip Lance Armstrong of his seven Tour de France wins. I think what's going to happen is that the titles are going to be left blank, and I think given the excesses of the era, that's probably about right. Of the 21 podium finishing positions in the seven years that Lance Armstrong won, 20 of those 21 have now been associated in some way with, with doping, so it's very hard to see who you would give the title to instead. Five Live Breakfast. Weekday mornings from 6. Five Live Sports. The Premier League. Chelsea take on Man United. 2-1 to Manchester United here at half-time. A Luis Songol and Van Persie. Mata pulling one back just before half-time as Chelsea improved. Newcastle beat West Brom 2-1. Tottenham 2-1 winners at Southampton and Rangers beat Clyde 2-0. And 2-2 in the Merseyside derby after Liverpool led 2-0 at Goodison Park and Conor McNamara you've been speaking to the two managers yes by any standards Mark this was an epic Merseyside derby Liverpool went two up Everton came back to draw level the game hung on a knife edge in the second half Everton creating the most chances but you know Liverpool were the team who came closest to winning it late on 93 minutes on the clock Luis Suarez bundles the ball into the net only for the assistant referee to incorrectly as it was rule it offside in terms of controversy however that was only the tip of the iceberg for Suarez in the pre-match press conference David Moyes had spoken about the Uruguayans' reputation for diving. Uh, so after that opening goal, Suarez ran to within a few feet of the Everton manager and then executed a massive theatrical dive of celebration. We'll hear what Moyes had to say about that celebration in a moment. Also, we'll hear from Brendan Rodgers about the late disallowed goal. But first, here's Moyes and how Everton, after going two goals behind early on, could have come away with all three points. I thought there was bits of it were a bit unlucky not to go in and win it. Uh, even in the first half, when we got back to two each, I thought we had a couple of good chances to make it 3-2. But you're right, when you go 2-0 down, you think it's a long way back. So great credit to the players for keeping at it, sticking in and, uh, and eventually getting the reward for that. I didn't see any Everton heads go down at 2-0. Immediate response as well through Leon Osmond. It, it was almost like they believed, they knew they could get back into it. I don't know if we actually deserved to be 2-0 down at the time. I didn't think we started that bad, but we lost the goal. A little bit of a counter-attack, we lose a goal from it, and, and it carries a bit of luck as well because the shot's not going on target and it's off Baines and goes in. So, uh, but then it was unlike us to lose the goal the way we did from the free kick. We wouldn't normally normally be as poor as that. So you find yourself 2-0 down, but as I said, uh, the players stuck at it, done some really good things after that, and uh, a little bit unlucky not to get more than the two goals we scored then. Just have to ask you as well about the goal at the end. Gerard with the free kick, Kowatis gets his head on it! Linesman raises his flag. Do you think it's the offside or was there maybe a foul in there as well? I mean, have you asked the referees? Well, if there was any, it might have been a foul by coach, but it definitely wasn't offside. But I think the, the biggest mistake was I don't, I don't see it being a free kick on, on Gerard in the middle of the park by Osman. So I think in a way the referee and the linesman got it right in the end because uh, they gave the wrong decision in the middle of the pitch. Like as I said, the goal at the end was clearly a goal and we're disappointed not to get it. Your players surrounded the referee at the time. Did he give a reason as to why the goal was disallowed? No, I only assume it was the the linesman yeah. must have must have given offside, but I think everyone in the the TV and and whatnot, and even in the ground would have seen that it wasn't offside. So uh, we're disappointed. And obviously the second goal, you know, was uh, was our throw in. You know, we, the the flick of uh, the Everton player should have been our throw, and uh, we didn't get it. But listen, sometimes that's the way it goes for you. We're disappointed, especially with the last one. Uh, that should have been a goal and, and a deserving hat trick for Luis Suarez, who was who was outstanding. But but overall, it's a point at a difficult place, and again, it's another stride forward for us. I have to ask you about Suarez's celebration. In, in all your time in football, have you had an opponent celebrate like that in front of you? No, but I really don't mind because you know if it had been me, I might have done it to him as well. But uh, you know, he might have to dive in front of a few managers now because I think there's more than me who who said what I did to 
Uh, and I've got to say he was a very lucky man to stay in the park because of his tackle. This was the one towards the end on distant? Certainly was, yeah. yeah. So he's, he's cut the heel of the player you think he was, he was intending to, to, to connect to? I do, yeah. Interesting thoughts there, the two managers. But Connor, particularly, I thought Brendan Rodgers was quite sanguine about the fact that they could have won the game had it not been for an erroneous refereeing decision. Yeah, I think both managers, Mark, showed restraint in those <laughs> post-match interviews. There wasn't any ranting or raving, not about diving celebrations or, or disallowed goals. And I think because deep down, they each knew that they could have lost this game. Yes, they could have won it, but both sides could have lost it. I think both managers were, were quite sanguine, as you're saying, because they, they realised the severity of that. Uh, Everton had the greater chance chances to get a number of chances to the game but that decision at the end Suarez we've seen it from every angle now I don't think there is a foul by Coates I think Liverpool have been robbed of the three points thank you very much indeed the lines are open for 606 0500 909 693 850 58 on the text with Alan Green we'll speak to him again in a second Patriots against the Rams is now on Sports Extra Red Bull Sebastian Vettel won his fourth Grand Prix in a row in India he's now 13 points clear of Fernando Alonso who finished second today three races to go the next one in Abu Dhabi in Rugby Union's Aviva Premiership today a controversial last minute try from Tom Cassidy and should Harlequins regain top spot they won 31-28 over London Irish Wasps beat London Welsh 29-19 Spain's Jorge Lorenzo was crowned Moto GP world champion for the second time following the Australian GP this morning and Team Sky have announced that their lead sports director Sean Yates has decided to retire from cycling after the team introduced a zero tolerance approach to drugs but they say there were no admissions or disclosures that would have required him to leave. In a statement, Yates himself insisted he was walking away with his head held high, knowing that he'd done nothing wrong. So, 2-1 Manchester United then, 6.06 to come with Alan after we have finished here. Lots to talk about already, Alan, after the Merseyside derby, and who knows what's going to happen in the next 45 minutes. Absolutely. Um, and we had the goals that we thought we'd have, and perhaps we'll have some more. 2 under Manchester United at half time. These are the two unchanged lineups at the start of the second period. Uh, Chelsea's goalkeeper and captain today, Czech. Uh, the defence, Ivanovic, Louise, Cahill, and Cole. Then Mikel and Ramirez. Then Hazard, Oscar, and Mata. And finally, Torres. Uh, the Manchester United lineup, De Gea in goal. He's had an outstanding first 45 minutes. Uh, the defence, Rafael, Ferdinand, Evans, and Evra. Then five across midfield, though it's very fluid. Uh, Valencia on the right, Young on the left, and between them, Rooney, Carrick and Cleverley. And finally, Van Persie, who scored uh, one of the goals. His effort against the post uh, rebounded and hit Louise for the first Manchester United goal. Van Persie, nine goals this season for Manchester United. Uh, referee Mark Clattenburg gets the second period underway. Uh, Chelsea, against their wishes really, attacking the old shed end in the second half. That's the one to our left. And they were pretty good, Pat, I would have said, for the last quarter of an hour of the first half, Chelsea. Yeah, it took them a long time to really get going. Manchester United had them te technically sorted out. But uh, just, you know, players got a little bit tired, a little bit of space developed, and uh, Chelsea have good, good players. Here's Valencia chasing after the ball with Louise. Louise gets there first, and the Belgian puts it into the Matthew Harding stand to concede a corner in the opening minute of this second half. Like Mike, I'm always bewildered as to why Van Persie takes corner kicks. I, I know he's a great executor of, of corners, but really, you'd want a man of his well, fabulous if, finishing. If United had scored a huge number from corner kicks that he takes, you'd maybe think, yeah, maybe, but I don't know. Centre forward who doesn't want to be in the box, I <laughs> don't get it either. Van Persie takes the corner, left footed, in swinging, goes a long way, uh, a hit. Torres, rather than deliberately making contact with the ball, he runs the ball out of the penalty chair and then it's driven to the far side by Oscar I think over hit by the Brazilian yes and he's beyond his uh, fellow Brazilian Ramirez and it's out for a throw into Manchester United well he tried to zip that ball through to Ramirez and he had to put a bit of curl in it that was a really good opportunity for Chelsea to break there doing to Manchester United what Manchester United done to them for half an hour Ever to take the throw in eventually uh, United looked really good in the opening 20-25 minutes they just got everything right tactically. 2-0 uh, in front, and then that matter free kick, brilliantly struck, has given Chelsea hope. Here's Torres. Torres tackled and loses it to Evans. Ball squirts away towards the halfway line. Uh, 
to Ashley Cole and now Jovanovic, the other fullback for Chelsea, to Oscar. Oscar holding off uh, Evans. Evans then gets in a tackle and puts the ball out of play for Chelsea throw in. Just to try and be brave and play with those three players that we keep on talking about and getting the ball in the last third there. It's harder to do that against very, very good players, and that's what Chelsea found in the first half there. But they're trying to still do it. Oscar wants the ball in that last third, and he's finally got, managed to get a corner kick from well, it. Ever, ever mystified as to why the decision was made against him. It came off the top of his head, according to the officials, and it is a corner to Chelsea from the right. Played in low right-footed, goes a long way, shot driven in by Mata, Mata, Mata's effort, hits Carrick, and ricochets out of play on the near side of the field for a throw-in to Chelsea. Louise had gone up for the corner. He's going to take the throw in. Surely he more needed inside the penalty. Anyway, it comes back off Mata to Louise. Louise, left side uh, for Chelsea. Holding off the challenge. An unfair challenge in the end by Raphael. And it's a free kick to Chelsea. Yeah, Louise had an opportunity to play a little short pass there into Mata. was in the box from the free kick. Didn't take the opportunity. Hazard to take the free kick. Torres standing on the penalty spot. Louise is in there with Mikel and Cahill. Has a delay Persie. taking the... The, keeper, the referee's furious with uh, Van Persie and David Louise holding each on to, onto each other's shirts. I think uh, Van Persie is the angrier. Has a right footed, takes a deflection off the wall and the referee's immediately... Um, but that's those two players I was mentioning. The, the fact that they've been holding each other, the referee had a word with them. The ball was played in. So he's given a free kick against Louise for still holding on to Van Persie. And that's your fact, six and a half a dozen, both were yeah, holding on to I was going to say, how, how do you decide? Uh, exactly. I mean, you, you, you've got to surely I'll tell you get what. the free kick taken again. Uh, I'll tell you how you decide. You've got to be a very brave referee who gives Give it the other way. <laughs> well, it would stop it, wouldn't it? Pat, it's no, you're absolutely annoying. Right. I mean, but having said that, both of them were at it in this case. Yes. But it is one of the most annoying features of today's play. The amount of shirt tugging and pushing that goes on inside a penalty area when it's a free kick or a corner kick. Here's Oscar. Oscar running forward. Oh, Oscar did really well. Finding Torres despite being under pressure. Torres can't squeeze the pass through to a colleague. Oh, no, he was suddenly engulfed by Manchester United defenders. Lost the ball. And here's Rooney on the far side of the field. On uh, to Rooney again from uh, Young. But Rooney couldn't pick it up. And Chelsea have it back. And Chelsea have started the second half quite well here much as they finished the first half. They trail Manchester United by two goals to one. Oscar appeared to be held back there. But the assistant's only three yards away from him, so if he was I held did. back, he should have seen it. He had a cigar out and sunglasses on, didn't notice that his infringement. Well, he, he stopped there, certainly. Went for it. Oscar's actually had a very good start to, to this half and even end to the last half. If you ask him on to a game now, he looks for, for such a slight individual. He's very strong. The lines are open for 606, 0500, 99, 693. That's a good ball played forward by Carrick to Young. And then Young tripped over by Ramirez. And it will be a free kick to Manchester United. A soft free kick. Conceded. There's no real need to Manchester United to push too much. They can just go at their own pace here. It's up to Chelsea to break Manchester United down. United wasted that free kick, but then uh, Chelsea trying to find Torres with a, a long ball uh, overhead it and it went through to the hair and there are fools a plenty booing Rio Ferdinand as Ferdinand plays it down the right side Valencia uh, Rooney comes uh, with a late run to the edge of the penalty Valencia's cross hit Louise he wants a hand ball well, it did hit his hand there's no doubt it did hit his hand but his hand was down by his side oh, yeah. Can't be and it's only a half surely. a foot away he cannot get his hand away from that. No. And then the, the story is you can give a penalty kick for that because it hit his hand. But he's about you know, a yard away from it, no more than that. And as for the booing of Ferdinand, absolutely, it is it's, it's rather tiresome. But if we were anywhere else in the country and John Terry was playing, do you think he would get the same? Yes. I suspect so. Yeah, I know. World Service listeners joining uh, those listening on Five Live. Welcome back to Stamford Bridge in the second half. We've already played six minutes. Chelsea won Manchester United 2. United having gone into a 2-0 lead. And then Mata's excellent free kick close to half-time, bringing Chelsea back. And here's Mata again. Mata on to Hazard, down the left side. Moving on to his right foot, into Mata. Mata's shot, straight at the hair. No, you weren't going to get excited with that. It was his right foot. Come on, Alex. <laughs> Mata's a fabulous player, and he's had a good game today, but um, as soon as it was on his right foot, 
I'm thinking to myself, the only way that's going to end if it's getting a deflection. Long clearance by the Spanish goalkeeper, one bounce and through to check the Chelsea custodian. He throws the ball out underarm to Cahill. And now it's taken up by Mikel. Mikel to the far side, Nivanovic to the right fullback. Back to Mikel. No John Terry, uh, of course, today for Chelsea, serving the second uh, game in a four match ban. Here's Luis uh, to Oscar. Chelsea fans coming in late into the into the penalty area. Matter late, and Matter brings the ball under control. Shouldn't have been allowed to do so by Evans. Crosses deep, looking for Torres, headed clear by Ferdinand. Head, played back in there, header down. It's the equaliser. Ramirez. Fantastic play, actually. There, yeah. really a great hand side. Mistake was from Evans. He should have gone and attacked the ball. He thought it was going out. Left it. Why Mata chased it down? And from then, Manchester United never got in control of the situation again. Chelsea had plenty of players back in the box. Well, last season, Chelsea were 3 0 up. It ended 3 3. Here today, this Sunday afternoon, Manchester United go 2 0 up. And now Chelsea have levelled at 2 2. I know it's not great defending, Alan, and you're, defending. and you're right to say it. <laughs> but a, I, I'm always going to say that I still want to see excitement. I still want to see entertainment people taking chances and the fact that Chelsea have got so many attacking minds, minded players out there that's why they're back in this game boy we've got we've got 40 minutes or so left we're going to enjoy this <laughs> uh, the odds are on more goals we've already had four two to each side uh, here Manchester United have possession on the far side of the field United ended the uh, first half second best to Chelsea and that's been the, uh, the pattern two in the second period so far Ashley Cole on now to the left side and has had a yard outside the penalty steps inside cleverly shoots towards the near post and for the third time in the game De Gea saves with his feet <laughs> do you know what doesn't matter what part of your body it's the oldest one in the book you Pat your... Jennings used to do that exactly yes there was lots and there'll be a number of people Schmeichel famously corner taken quickly Mata back to Oscar just outside the penalty air Oscar's shot was uh, driven only by ambition uh, without much common sense it was blocked and it's cleared to the halfway line. Taken up by Oscar again. Oscar Knight. The momentum is with Chelsea. The leaders of the Barclays Premier League. Great cross in. Hazard. Why didn't he take it with his left foot? He tried to hit it with the outside of his right foot and screwed it wide. I'll tell you the reason why he didn't hit it with his left foot. <laughs> his right foot. He, I know, but it's silly, isn't it, really? You know, you players at this level. You could, it could have dived and headed that. That would have been a more sensible choice. But trying to take it with the outside of your right foot. And what an opportunity for Chelsea. Chelsea are now well on top. They're playing extremely well. And all the players that Chelsea fans want to see playing well, getting on the ball, they're all getting on the ball now. <laughs> but I have, I have to say, I hate to be a sports sport, and I know that there are fans all over the world thinking, isn't this exciting, this Barclays Premier League? Look at that, we've had four goals and we've still got 35 minutes left. For Some of the defending is not clever. No, it's not great. Um, and it's not great. And the reason being as you're, you're taking slightly too many chances and also Manchester United as we've mentioned already they're missing quite a few important players Manchester United don't generally do no. this sort of defending no, when Vidic is playing definitely not but Sir Alex was uh, pretty happy at 2-0 not so happy now at 2-2 but his team of a free kick Van Persie takes it left footed swirling it in onto the head of Evans but it's only a glancing header from the Ulsterman and it's behind for a goal kick one of the other things that's changed in the game is uh, Whereas before you watched Wayne Rooney, he was working incredibly hard. A lot of it was defensively. You look at him now and you think, well, wait a minute. You would rather, if you're a Man United fan, you see Wayne Rooney a little bit further up the field now. Linking up with Van Persie when he can. But United are trying to play on the break. The problem for them, since they started this second half, which is over 10 minutes old now, they haven't had a break really, have they? They, they can go 4-2-3-1 Manchester United. Uh, leaving Cleverley and Carrick with the defensive duties. Yeah. Uh, Young on the left, Valencia on the right, Rooney between them, in support of Van Persie. Yeah. But at the moment, Chelsea have had all the possession, and they've got the ball around the edge of the Manchester United penalty area again. Though T Torres can't beat Evans in the air, and it's clattered over the halfway line, Cahill versus back, and heads it to the acting Chelsea captain. In the absence of uh, Terry suspended and Lampard injured, that's Czech. Here's Luis. Surely he's got a score at some stage in the game. 
usually does against Manchester United. That was a loose pass from the Brazilian defender, though. So he scored one on G so far. Come on. Well, I, well, I don't think he can count that, no, to be not, fair not, to him. He's not him to blame, definitely not. <laughs> he actually made one mistake very early on against Robin Van Tess. He tried to get in front and, and was turned. But since then, actually, Mr. Luiz has been... Uh, well, he's actually controlled himself very, very well. Listeners to uh, Five Live, of course, 0500. 909-693, that's the number that you can call if you want to chat to me on 606, which will follow the conclusion of this commentary for an hour uh, this Sunday night on Five Live. Here's Valencia, who set up Van Persie's uh, second goal for Manchester United. Valencia, on now, and Van Persie takes it up, yard outside the penalty chair, onto his left foot, he anticipated a run by Rooney, Rooney didn't make that run, and therefore the pass is through to check. You don't often see those two having the wire so terribly crossed as that. His, his pass was, what, 10 yards off target? Cahill, um, that's a mammoth ball upfield looking for Hazard, uh, headed away by Ferdinand. Hazard then wins it. That wasn't a foul challenge by Carrick. In fact, Carrick thought he was fouled by Mata. The ball is with Chelsea, with Luis. Back to Oscar inside the centre circle. And now Ivanovic on the far side to Cahill. 13 minutes gone in the second half. Chelsea 2, Manchester United 2. When Chelsea had been 2-0 down, that's a good ball by Mikel. Forward to Ashley Cole. Cole a few yards away from the Manchester United penalty here. Taps it back to Hazard. Hazard waits patiently. And then checks one way, then the other. Beating Valencia. Chips it into the penalty area. The header back by Mata was behind Ramirez. And Manchester United should clear. Cleverly into Carrick. And now Rooney, and Rooney, oh goodness, I'm sure Ferdinand didn't welcome that pass back to him. Torres was nearby, oh, and then Van hit off field now, Van Persie's arm. Well, he that he's into no, Luis's face? Yeah. That's how he's responded. Well, I know, he did, he did get hurt. There's no doubt there's an elbow in the face there from Van, Robin Van Persie, but I'm not convinced he meant it. I, I don't think he necessarily meant that, and I, I, I think players are playing on in that vein. Well, there was a, a possibility of an elbow at St James's Park earlier in the season in the Newcastle game which Van Persie got away with. Yeah. I, I didn't see that. All I saw was the response from Luis. Yeah, I, think, I think there was contact, but uh, whether it meant or not, I, I'm not convinced. Burns, yeah, the one number seven runs into the other. Number seven, Ramirez, uh, goes down, and he, the decision by Mark Clattenburg was well, a free ref- kick to Manchester United. Yeah, the referee's in a great position there. I thought that was a, not a good attempt at attack, but we'll see it. Well, he's just blocked him. Nothing more than that. I wonder if we'll get a replay on our little monitor... Uh, of the Louise and Van Persie. Well, Van Persie's arm was up, but you know, it's, it's nothing drastic. Yeah, but it, but it is sore. <laughs> so, David Louise. Here's Ashley Young on the far side of the field. After Manchester United take the free kick, back to Cleverly. Now, Young crosses in towards Van Persie, couldn't get his head onto the ball, caught by Czech. It's important to underline to Manchester United fans listening now. The team's playing much, much better since they lost that second goal. There was a foul by Cleverly there. Referee wisely played the advantage. Uh, Chelsea on the attack. It's in there. Oh, and Mata certainly felt he should have got a free kick. Didn't get the free kick. And Carrick clears. There's a clever little nudge there in the back of Mata. But you've got to be strong there. For the referee to give a free kick dead on the 18-yard line there, it needs to be a pretty clear push. I wonder what he think about a yellow card for Cleverly when the play is uh, eventually stopped. Probably has forgotten the incident already now. Ball played in, Rooney with a header. Uh, must have taken the deflection off Cahill, it's going to be a corner. It must have done, man. we couldn't see it from yeah, this I angle. I didn't see yet. it from this angle at but, all. But no one's complaining. Now, what's Cahill uh, saying? Maybe he's having a word. Did you notice Cleverly? Yeah. No, no, Mark Lambert's not doing yeah. anything. Not done a word, not done a thing. 16 minutes played in the second period. 2-2 at Stamford Bridge in the clash of the weekend. Chelsea and Manchester United. Van Persie's corner, driven deep, good catch by Jack. And they see a goalkeeper catching a ball from across. For Instead a of punching. Exactly. Did you see that ridiculous punch by the Liverpool goalkeeper earlier that led to an Everton goal? It, it was harder to punch it than catch it, but he punches it never. And only, I mean, if you punch it out of the penalty area, that's one thing. He actually punched it back into the danger Yeah, area. I mean, probably about 18 yards out, and he's probably happy that he's got 18 yards on it. Do you know what? If you catch it and kick it, you probably get about 90 yards on it, mate. Luis for Chelsea, who have the momentum. Can they prize a winner? Remember, they've only dropped two points this season in the draw to Queen's Park Rangers. All their other Barclays Premier League games have been won. 
They were in severe danger of losing this one, and they might lose it yet. That's, but Percy Ford, oh goodness, Ivanovic brings him down. It's going to be a free kick. Was he the last man? Oh, he's going to give a red card there. If he's given a I free think kick, it has to, yeah, it has to be a red card, and it is. Ivanovic has been sent off. Yeah, he's caught on the wrong side of him, and I'll tell you what, it's very, very clever play. Um, as he cuts inside, Young cuts inside him and waits for the hit. And he's got every right to do that. He throws his legs up behind him, looking for it. But he's every right to do that. Let's see. Yeah, there's a touch. His left foot is slightly touched by Ivanovic. I don't think there's too many complaints. No, no. I, I'm sorry. Here's an, I don't mean to pick, out, pick on the Chelsea crowd. But, you know, they booed Ferdinand. Their prayer's been sent off. And it's typical these days. He's applauded yeah. off the pitch. But the only thing is... He's a plugged off pitch. They know that he didn't deliberately fail there. It was a tangle of legs, so there's a bit of me that allows I'd, that. I'd like, you know. I'd like to think so, Pat, but uh, I've also seen clear red card offences. Oh, yeah. And it's uh, treated by a home crowd as if almost well done, you've done great, son. That would, I would agree with you 100%, but, you know, that's all secondary now. 22 yards out, absolutely perfect position for any number of Manchester United yeah, players well, here. There are three of them here. Van Persie with his left foot, Ashley Young with his right, Rooney still there, it's left for Rooney, right footed just over the crossbar. And that's such a shame that that sending off's happened because we were really getting a good game. It was had really opened up. Chelsea had been very, very positive and started setting tough, but Manchester United had come back into it. It was flowing, it was lively, and of course now Chelsea are going to, be, have, to have to be a little bit more defensive. We've still got 26 minutes left for play and more. The added time. Do you know there were 12 minutes of added time at the, at the Etihad last yeah. night? Yeah. I mean, for good reason, they were yeah, injured. Absolutely. But uh, 12 minutes. Manchester United are going to make a change here. Hernandez is coming on. Well, is this an immediate thought from Sir Alex that, hey, Chelsea are down to 10 men, we're going to win this? Yes. Here's Van Persie uh, with Young to his, uh, to his left, Valencia to his right, Valencia stupidly offside you're taking the word out of my mouth absolutely you cannot in that position run into an opposite offside position when you're looking along the line and the way this player they're going for it uh, because cleverly is the man being replaced uh, by hernandez well, this is uh, this is good a very very tough one for chelsea they've, what chelsea have done is they've moved ramirez to right full back so they've got the four along the back with cole obviously louise cahill and right back is ramirez Playing two in the middle, sitting, they've asked Oscar to sit a little bit further back beside Mikel, but still almost playing three up front, you know, with Mata up there in the right hand side and the left hand side is Hazard. Surely they can't stick with that. Surely something much more defensive must happen. Yeah, and that's well, Pilcheta, well, surely. Chelsea, Chelsea are going to make a change as well. Um, they're going to bring on. Oh, I, I love to. this. I, I can't wait to say his name. Alpala Queta. Well, it's better than my pronunciation. Well, he's coming on, the Spaniard, and down to ten men, Chelsea. Having done so well to get back into the game, they were 2-0 down. Now it's 2-2, but there's still 25 minutes to go. Here's Hazard. Uh, back to Cole, Cole to Louise again. Louise will not what is uh, he stop doing? Uh, <laughs> from coming forward, that's for sure. Well, he's playing as a left winger there in Chelsea down to ten men. You don't do that, especially when you're just about to make a change. And... No surprise that one of the, Oscar. the three players in the midfield, it's a shame for Oscar, he was coming out in a great game in the second half and he's the one second half. Yeah. Uh, so rightly he is being applauded for his exit, unlike the applause that greeted Ivanovic, who was sent off. As Pelicuete will come on as the replacement for the Brazilian. Chelsea 2, Manchester United 2, the lines open for 6.06, 0.500, 9.09, 6.93. Uh, Test for the Aspilicueti. I mean, not much time in a Chelsea shirt. Yeah. Let's see what he's made of. He's immediately gone to right back. I mean, that's a tough one to come on, really, you know, down to 10 men against Manchester United, the game in the balance. And particularly when United have got two wingers out there. And, uh, uh, you know, now Hernandez in support of Van Persie. Really still playing in midfield. Chelsea had the ball, though. <laughs> with Massa. I'll tell you right now, I've seen enough. 10 seconds, as Pilicuet is not going to sit back, he wants to go forward. <laughs> He's one of them fullbacks. Interesting. Uh, Chelsea, Hazard to Mata. Mata's low cross into the United penalty here. Uh, low crouching header from Evans with the clearance. And now it's taken up by Valencia over the halfway line, near side of the field. 
Uh, Manchester United from their bench being urged forward. Mikel gives away a free kick there and not the best free kick to give away there. Gets himself in a square on position. Easy to get a free kick from Valencia there. And uh -huh. I think Torres is about to come off. I think that Sturridge is coming on. Perfectly sensible. That's, that's one for one. Well, you need legs. You're down to ten men, you've got one guy up front. What you need more than anything else is legs and pace. Something to stretch the Manchester United defence. Well, apart from uh, one effort, Torres ain't done a lot. No. Here's Van Persie for Manchester United. Approaching the Chelsea penalty here. Taps the ball to the left, to Young. Infield it goes to Rooney, and now Carrick takes it up. Carrick lost the ball when he shouldn't have done, but he, he wins it back. Finds uh, Evra. Evra now approaching the penalty here. Uh, runs straight into a, a Chelsea player, and it's taken away by Chelsea, just as the commentary's being taken away from Alan Green to Mike Ingram. Could be Torres' last kick of the ball here. Torres going forward, caught by Evans. And there wasn't. No, I think he's going to. He's going to book. He's going to. Yeah, there was another defender back. I, oh, he's booking Torres. Yes, that's exactly. And, and that's comes. a second yellow card, of course. So Torres is sent off. Torres got a yellow card in the first half, right at the end of the first half. And Fernando Torres becomes the second Chelsea player in the game to be sent off, down to nine men. And he, he was immediately. I, off. He I was, was looking to see whether Evans was going to get the yellow card. I'll tell you, the referee's blown it. Well, Evans, oh, Evans went it. to the ground, oh, wow. and Torres felt the full force of the tackle, Yeah, and it, not that quite sure what Torres shocker. was supposed to do about that. Right at the start of this game, I, I said to you, Klanberg, he books more players than any other referee. He has totally and utterly blown it there. There is no other answer for it. You've blown it, mate. It's unthinkable how bad that is. And he's got an assistant beside him who's dead in line with it as well. But in a, in a game of, of this magnitude, and, and, and you have to be absolutely certain to make a decision like that, Pat, don't you? I, I tell you what, I thought his first yellow card was uh, really quite harsh as well. Yeah. From Clark, but within the rules, you can do that. But boy, mate, have you blown it with bells on. And the irony is, as Van Persie gives chase and sends the ball into the crowd, and this is a real good debate for 6 6 we applaud bookings for diving. We want yes. diving out of the game, right? But that was a catastrophic decision. Yeah, That's absolutely. Well, they enough. completely got it wrong. The thing is, it's, it's, you can give a booking for a dive when you know it has been a dive. In fact, I would have to just go and send players off for diving. I wouldn't be feeling uncomfortable about that. However, when you don't know for sure, it's unbelievable. Now, Sir Alex is well, going Sir Alex curious. Is arguing down there. Um, I'm not quite sure what his problem is I remember but, but I can tell you what the problem is Chelsea manager feel, he's, he's been told he's already been told that should never have been a booking right. so he's going ballistic and Sir Alex saying well wait a minute your players have gone down before well I'm just casting my mind back to the game here in February when it was a 3-3 and I remember in that particular game Sir Alex Ferguson felt I have a feeling I'm not sure my memory's not playing tricks here but it, I'm sure he felt in that game at Cahill should have been sent off in the game and said quite a lot about it afterwards in the 3-3. Yeah. Well, here today, Ivanovic and Torres have been sent off. Ivanovic getting a straight red, so he'll be out for three games. Torres, two yellows, so he'll be out for one. And what a shame from a neutral point of view, really, is Chelsea have the ball down the right-hand side. The ball is played in and Evans decides to head it away and not leave it through to De Gea. Uh, I mean, surely Chelsea, who look to have all the initiative when they equalise, can't win this game. And from a strictly neutral point of view, <laughs> the balance has been affected. Now, Wayne Rooney on a yellow card has fouled Ashley Cole. Yeah, but that's a foul. That's not a yellow card, that's a foul. Right. But obviously, Rooney got the yellow card in the first half for, for actually the incident which led to the free kick and the goal from Matter. So the crowd is screaming for consistency yeah. here. But if you get a yellow card for that, playing five or six. I mean, and, and the other thing about this is Bertrand comes on uh, for Hazard. I was going to make the point just before Ivanovic was sent off in Alan's commentary that for Chelsea Manchester United, Pat, this game was being played in a terrific spirit, wasn't yeah, it? It's not and a no game. sign of all this to come, you know. Yeah, and it's not turned into a vicious, horrible dirty game. It's not like that at all, but we find ourselves now with nine against 11. With, you know, with one professional fell, arguably, and I don't even think Ivanovic meant it, but he still had to go. Hazard takes the free kick for Chelsea, headed away by Evans. 
Uh, Manchester United will, will surely feel they can go on to win this now with a two-man advantage. Hernandez, of course, has come on for them. Ball is played towards Van Persie. Bertrand's first touch, but Van Persie's got it. Hernandez is in the penalty area. Uh, can't get the cross in. Van Persie over on the left. Luis brings him down. That's a free... Chelsea have to be careful here, but they don't lose it completely here. Yeah, said Luis Mamina's... went diving in. It's a free kick for Manchester United. Yeah, he's grabbed him down there by... You know, it's just with that arm across his chest. Once again... Like I mentioned running before, it's a foul. No more than that, it's a foul. Well, ironically, I think I said in the commentary this could be Torres' last touch of the ball when it was played through okay. to him because Would have been. We, were, we were anticipating Sturridge coming on. We weren't anticipating Torres being sent off. And now the ball is with Rio Ferdinand inside the centre circle. Just to repeat, it's Chelsea 2, Manchester United 2 on 5 Live and World Service. Chelsea have nine men. Rooney now on the edge of the penalty area. United playing from left to right. Ball was played not accurately uh, towards Young, but it drops to Valencia instead. Now Robin Van Persie trying to set something up on his left foot and he does and in the end balloons it high into the fans behind Czech's goal. One of the things that's interesting in this, these situations Mike, is um, you often train with 10 men against 11 to know where to go, what to do. The system's usually quite easy, you go 4-4-1. Four, four, and, and, you know, it's, it's almost you're not losing a great deal and you have a lift from all the players. I'll tell you what, here's a surprising right, change. Well, no, well, Giggs is coming on for Rooney and that may, may be as much about making sure Rooney st doesn't get sent off, I think. Yeah, I think he knows Mark Clarton back. On a yellow another card. Free kick, yeah. and, and, and a point I, I wanted to make about... The whole scene here today I think I think this underlines in many ways just why the English teams perhaps faded in Europe in midweek because the intensity of the Premier League is if you go back to last weekend and before the disappointing results in Europe when you think Man City had a last minute winner at uh, West Bromwich Albion Arsenal lost Manchester United had gone behind in their game Chelsea had a real battle with Spurs not surprising perhaps that they dipped in midweek and you know whatever you think about the quality of the Premier League the intensity is just out there to be seen today once more between these two sides. Uh, I couldn't, every agree, game I couldn't is, agree more with you, mate. Yeah. I think that's absolutely exactly what the problem is. Every was. game is full on, and of course it's not for Ajax in Holland. It's not the same situation. Probably not for Shakhtar either in Ukraine. Anyway, back here today on this late autumnal afternoon. Chilly it is here today, but a really hot game of football down there. And it's 2-2. And Manchester United have two-man advantage. Michael Carrick now into Van Persie. Good take. Van Persie! Would he go over the line? He was saved by Czech. He, got, he took all the power out of it. Played in and scored by Hernandez. Rafael drilled it in. And Hernandez was there instinctively inside the six-yard area. Well, what drama. We thought first Van Persie's effort was going to creep over the line. Rafael thrashed it in. And Hernandez was there to make it 3-2 to Manchester United. Fantastic little pick up there. You know, there is even an argument. It came from an offside position when he scores a goal. We're just about to see a replay here, but how typical is that of Hernandez? What a great save by Czech. We thought it was going to go in. I just get the feeling that Hernandez came from an offside position, and I think you'll find I'm 100% right in that. Well, what a, I mean, <laughs> match of the day tonight will be. Will be now, now, to be fair, mate. They need a whole called, program on this To game. be fair, mate, yeah. I have called that before yeah. I've seen the replay. Now, that's not me being a smart aleck. That's me saying, from up here, a long way away, I can tell you that's offside. You've got an assistant down there who can't tell you it's offside. So, should he be, is he capable of doing his job when I can see it and he can't and he's closer? Well, just to repeat, by the way, we have one of the um, supposedly best referees in the Premier League, Mark Plattenberg, he's a Champions League referee. He does big games on the continent. I mean, I'm not Chelsea at the him. moment are... Mikel's got a yellow card, and uh, Mark Plattenberg just listened to Mikel, and then for too long, then he decided he's going to get a yellow card yeah. for saying... And he has to be careful not to say any more now. Now, just going back to the goal, Van Persie's effort, Czech went down to make the save. He just took the sting out of the shot. The ball was touched onto the post. Chelsea half cleared it. Raphael smashed it back in again. And Hernandez, and he does this brilliantly, doesn't he? He just reacts magnificently inside the penalty area. Razor sharp finish. So now it's Chelsea 2, Manchester United 3, but that's only half the story. Yeah, I know. But you know the rules are offside. You need two players between you and the goal. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a goalkeeper or anyone. You need two players. Do you know how many players there were between him and the goal when the ball was played? None. Yeah. Not one, none. That's how bad a decision that was. So at the moment, Chelsea 
will lose the game to an offside goal and they've had two players sent off. I, I mean, strictly letter of the law, Ivanovic had to go. Yes. Yeah, he had to go. But Fernando Torres, who we thought was harshly booked in the first half, but then got a second yellow card for what was deemed to be a dive. And I'm really not quite sure how he could have got out of the way of the challenge which came in from Johnny Evans. <laughs> and also he got and kicked in the shin. <laughs> That's a slight effect when you trying to keep your feet. Apart from that, the officials are right on top of their game. Absolutely here. nailed it. Chelsea 2, Manchester United 3, 5 Live, BBC World Service. And don't forget Alan Green to bring you 6.06 live from the stadium uh, straight after the game. Now, Robin Van Persie down the Manchester United right. And, and it really has changed the entire game. Raphael drags the ball back to Robin Van Persie. And now Valencia plays a 1-2 with Ashley Young. Chelsea, uh, two men short, trying to clear. Ashley Cole gets caught in possession. Van Persie goes in and Carrick threads it to Young. And Fernandes has made a run into the area. Ball came in off Young. It was deflected by a Chelsea defender. Of course, we'll never know if it had stayed 11 against 11, whether Chelsea would have gone on to win the game, but certainly they were on top. When they, before they had the two men sent off. Ivanovic now, uh, Luiz now runs a long way with the ball for Chelsea. David Luiz for Chelsea, seems a bit uncertain, but he manages to find Ramirez. Ramirez shot! Oh, there's plenty of power, but it was covered and it was wide. But at least that gives the fans around here some hope that they can still pull off the impossible and get a result from the game. And whether or not they get something to the game. They should a great commitment, a great attitude. Sometimes there are games in a team's evolution where you can lose and it can actually have a positive effect on you, you know, because there's a battle, because you fight and you show that you are capable. When Chelsea came into this with a, a kind of fear, to some degree, sort of a lot of the fans, whether they were going to be capable to, you know, stand up to Man United, and they did, certainly 11 against 11. I think the question I would ask here would be, just imagine the boot was on the other foot now. If this was at Old Trafford, <laughs> and, and it was 3-2 to Chelsea against Manchester United, and Sir Alex Ferguson had been on the receiving end of the decisions that Chelsea have had to deal with today. I, d I don't think he you would know? have said anything, because I think there's a fair chance he would have spontaneously combusted down the <laughs> line there. <laughs> well, I think we've made the point, and uh, his team leading 3-2, looking for the... I mean, we put the clocks back an hour overnight, but United could be turning the clocks back 10 years here. If they win this, this will be their first win at Stamford Bridge in the Premier League since 2002. Uh, and now uh, that will look like a foul um, on Hernandez, but it wasn't given by Mark. I mean, that did look like a foul, but it's I mean, gone they, out of play. The, the nine men will always get a little bit of, you know, the 50-50s, they'll get them there without a doubt. Uh, I'm not taking over 606's job just now, but <laughs> we've got two massive games today. What happened at the end of the Liverpool-Everton game? Oh, a yes, goal yes, that should have been yes, given that yes. wasn't given. And here, we have a man sent off and a goal that should have been given. <laughs> and, they tell, and, and people tell me you shouldn't have uh, technology being used. Get us a break. But I mustn't look, you know, gift horse in the mouth here because this is what fuels the game, of course. As Ryan Giggs now plays the ball up and Manchester United are breaking and Van Persie finds uh, Hernandez, who was tackled by Ashley Cole. It's Chelsea 2, Manchester United 3 on 5 Live and World Service. Ten minutes to go. United went into a 2-0 lead in 12 minutes. Mata got one back before half-time. Chelsea on top when Ramirez equalised. Then we had Ivanovic sent off and then Torres sent off. And it was the Torres sending off, of course. Then Hernandez scored from an offside position. Chelsea are bursting down the right-hand side. Hazard's ball right across the face, but there's no Torres, of course, to get on the end of that. It was Bertrand, actually, because at, at one point, before Torres was sent off, we thought Sturridge was about to come on no, he was. for Fernando Torres. No, no, he was yes, right yes. then and there. I would say within 20 seconds. Which suggested at that point that Chelsea are chasing the game and Chelsea yeah. are looking to, you know, to get all three points and preserve their unbeaten. They're unbeaten, of course, coming into this match. By the way, uh, this is their eighth successive Premier League game in London. They haven't played outside of London since the very first weekend when they beat Wigan, but that will change next weekend at Swansea. Ryan Giggs ball down the centre, well headed away by Cahill. Young plays it back in again. Hernandez tried to tee up a shot, but then he kicked the player in the process as well as the ball, and it's run through to Czech, and Czech's the captain, but difficult really for him to influence too much out there yeah. without Terry and Lampard. The point was made at half-time that the way Chelsea began the game, they lacked a little bit of leadership. Now Ramirez has been fouled, and they have a free kick. And here comes the, the, the change now, which was to be made earlier. And Sturridge is coming on for Hazard. So, um, it's a bit of a for Hazard. He's just had uh, his best run in the match there. He's, uh, he's got a good round of applause from the Chelsea fans here. But he just took three players on the right-hand side there. And sometimes it's easy to do that when you, you know 
that you've not got anyone else up around you, so you just go and amaze your dribble there. But uh, understandable why you want Sturridge on. If Chelsea are going to get in there this game, which is highly likely, you think, with nine men, you need a goal scorer on, and Chelsea now have one. And so all of that threat has been removed from the game now, Pat. Um, Hazard's off, yeah. Oscar's off, and there's no matter well, down there do you know either. I'd, I'd love to go and tell you the system that Chelsea are playing just now. Uh, yeah, Ashley Cole's playing on the left wing, I think. Yeah, it's 3 3 1, really. So it's Chelsea 2, Manchester United 3 in a dramatic game at Stamford Bridge. Van Persie. Uh, managing to do a, 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 he's a late decision there by the referee because he was fouled and uh, Mark Plattenberg I think was just seeing whether United were going to keep the ball and have the advantage but they didn't and so he's given the free kick but I think he's uh, what a pity that Mark Cl we can't interview Mark Plattenberg after the game well, because what, what would be very yeah. interesting to see him out there was a mm, nasty little challenge that referee had his back to there it was Evans and Ramirez Ramirez leaving his foot in there um, I mean, will you hear a reaction from the referee after this? Because you can't. I, I don't think you can argue with the two stinking mistakes. I, I really don't think. Well, you can't argue with the offside goal because it's basically offside. Um, you may claim that there wasn't contact between Torres uh, and Evans in that case, but it's almost a spurious argument as well. So, can we hear from? And, yes. and then the irony for me is that it, that's it, so many people crusading to get diving out of the game, and we applaud generally any yellow card shown for a clear, blatant dive, but. Well, Fernando Torres wasn't guilty of that, in our view, anyway. But Mark Clattenburg decided that it was a dive, and now it's Valencia, wearing the number seven, I noticed, this, this season. By the way, it's the a Beckham yellow card for Torres, and you, so you can't yeah. argue with it. Um, the knowledge beside me has informed me correctly. Mm. So Torres is out for him. Rio Ferdinand turns the ball back to goalkeeper De Gea. Chelsea 2, Manchester United 3. Ball over on the left-hand side, and if you're just joining us... Uh, on this Sunday afternoon, let me just repeat that Chelsea are playing out this game with only nine men. Ivanovic was sent off, straight red, and then Torres, two yellows, and Hernandez has run offside here. He's one of the United substitutes, and it's going to be a free kick to he's Chelsea. Given, he's given that one there. <laughs> I'd be very intrigued if we see a replay that, if that actually was offside. By the way, um, John Terry misses the Swansea He misses the League Cup game. I'm not sure it would have played in that anyway. Of course, these two sides are meeting again in midweek. They are. Although, they, well, I'm not sure how many too many of these players will be playing, but um, Chelsea and Manchester United meet in midweek. And and is that the game that Torres is suspended from, then? Well, he wouldn't be, have yeah. played in that anyway, yeah. probably. So, it may not, think, that yeah. may not be too costly. But um, when Terry comes back, it's quite a scheduled Chelsea face over the fortnight and a half. Home to Shakhtar, away to Juventus, home to Liverpool, away to West Brom, home to Manchester City, all those games coming up in November. But they're going to lose this game at the moment against Manchester United. The result has been, I think, directly affected by the sendings off. The balance of power, the balance, the numbers changing down there. And now Valencia, this time Van Persie. Oh, he is offside. Valencia had made the run through. Van Persie's appealing. He never touched it. Van, Van Persie uh, never touched it. You can't, you're not supposed to be offside until you touch the ball. He's not touched it. Luis, near side the Chelsea left. Last five minutes of the game. 3 2 to Manchester United. Ball now with Antonio Valencia. Valencia moving forward slowly. Faced by Ashley Cole. Coles, there's no need, of course, for Manchester United now to go full pelt. They have the three points. It looked like they were going to throw away the three points that they had inside the first 12 minutes with Chelsea storming back to make it 2 2. But then the two sendings off and everything's changed. Carrick's ball wasted. Poor ball from Carrick. Now, will Chelsea punish him? Mikel, movement too slow though from Mikel initially. Aspilicueta has made a break down the right hand side. It goes to Sturridge. Sturridge trying to turn away from Johnny Evans, but there's no one to support him. This is the problem now for Chelsea. Sturridge still. Bertrand takes over. There's no authentic firepower here now from Chelsea. Ashley Cole wants more. Back to Gary Cahill on the edge of the centre circle. There's no shape, of course, about the team. As now the ball is floated in towards Bertrand at the far post. Manchester United should deal with this. They head the ball out. Ashley Cole was first to react, and Cole finds Ramirez. Chelsea, two men be down, but uh, still battling well here. Free kick is given against Ramirez. Oh, and listen to the reaction from the Stamford Bridge fans, and just imagine... <laughs> There's no the complaint about that. I mean, that should have been a yellow card on Ramirez. He's just had a lash out there, Hernandez. Free kick taken for Manchester United, and, uh, of course, have they lost this game today against Chelsea, they would have found themselves seven points behind quarter of the way through the season looks like they're going to go above Manchester City on goal difference into second place City and United locked together once more 21 points one point behind Chelsea 
and Spurs, by the way, have moved into fourth place today, having beaten Southampton by two goals to one. Newcastle beat West Brom 2-1, and in a controversial Merseyside derby, it was Everton 2, Liverpool 2. Here at a disgruntled Stamford Bridge. Ashley Young's lifted the ball forward. Hernandez has given chase, and then from the angle, hits the ball into the crowd that it may not matter. We've got less than three minutes to go here, and it's Chelsea 2, Manchester United 3. It's an interesting chant from the Chelsea fans. You know, you usually give abuse towards referees, but this one isn't. It's you not fit to referee, is what they're suggesting there. Oh, well, we're getting news, um, which is unpleasant, really, as uh, Sturridge tries to break through here for Chelsea, and Evans manages to recover his balance and plays the ball back. Apparently a steward is being treated in the far corner of the ground here. We understand the steward might have been pushed or uh, hit by an object thrown after Hernandez's goal. So that news is um, is just re apparently objects were thrown towards yeah, United's I, I players as well. No, I spotted that yeah. down there in the corner. The corner kick was being taken. Or just actually after they scored, they ran over into the corner, and there were a few objects. And there's still a few lying on the pitch. It's hard to see what they are from this position. In which case Chelsea, um, and we can see now yeah. actually the steward is still being treated down in the corner flag area down there. Chelsea will obviously have to deal with that um, with the authorities as well after the game. So it's going from bad to worse for the Chelsea Football Club here today. Two men sent off, second one very harshly. Manchester United poised to win for the first time here in ten years in the Premier League. The ball may break here for Van Persie. Van Persie through to Hernandez, and Hernandez just has it nicked away from him by Ashley Cole. Robin Van Persie's lying on the ground at the moment. As uh, Chelsea, there's no way that Chelsea will put the ball out of play here, and why should they? Referee hasn't stopped the game. Van Persie's back on his feet. And the ball is down the Chelsea right, and Aspilicueta lets it run on. And he doesn't manage to keep it in, and it's going to be a Manchester United throw. We've got just over a minute to go. Now Van Persie goes back down again, and this time Mark Plattenberg decides that he can receive attention. Well, I suspect it'll be OK. Anybody just joining us, by the way, uh, Pat, because it is a Sunday afternoon, just... I mean, what, 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 you know, what a, what a day. I mean, it's extraordinary. In a, it, we, we may have just a few moments here. I mean, all United and look to be all Chelsea, and then everything changed. Yeah, and it's... I, mean, I suppose you expect that with two very good teams who are playing, you know, at the top of the division. Um, but I thought Chelsea started off very tentatively. Uh, tactically, Manchester United got it right. They were just basically holding back in the 35-yard line, but breaking incredibly well. And Chelsea doesn't seem to have any answers, and certainly deserving of their 2-0 lead. But Chelsea just got that goal back before half-time and started to play very well. De Gea had a great game, actually, to keep them out. We're going to have a look, well, I'm chatting here with on our monitors, where they're actually seeing, you know, the offside, and he's, he's a mile off for that. I mean, it's quite ridiculous. He's coming from inside the goal there, and the you know, assistant referee should say it. But anyway... For Manchester United, but they must be absolutely delighted with this because, you know, to come back to be 2 0 down, mm. you know, and then to get back to 2 2, you're, you're fearful then, very fearful, but they've held on, they've ridden their luck, they've got the odd decision, and they've played quite well in the second time. But it's hard to see who deserves really to win because if 11 men on each side, or even 10 against 11, it would have been a great last half hour as it is. Spoiled by the second round. Van Persie's back on, by the way. Five minutes of added time we're going to have at the end of the game. But it's happening too many times. This off I mean, oh, Ars Arsenal's, this goal, afternoon. Arsenal's goal yesterday was offside, wasn't it? Against yep. Queen's Park Rangers at the Emirates. Big goal. But, 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 I know you have there, and it's an old argument. People get bored with it. I've now I've never changed my tune on it. Mm. You have to use all the technology you've got. You have to use it because it's spoiling too many games. People are spending a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort. There's careers involved in it, and oh, well, so many wrong decisions have been made. Well, Valencia tried to take a throw then. Roberto Di Matteo almost took the ball off him, and now on the edge of the area, Valencia has been fouled, and it's going yeah, to be. He's going off now. He's going off. He's going off. Definitely. And Mikel has his second booking. He must go off. Oh, no, he's shown the yellow card to Valencia. Oh, he's... <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I'm thinking has Valencia got sure. a yellow card already. I'm just wondering where you were coming from there because it's. It's you're right, Pat. Mikel was on a yellow card, yeah, and so he, he could have been sent off. But mm -hmm. Valencia has been sent off for a, uh, sorry, Valencia has been shown a yellow card. I'm getting losing it here, but for what was judged to be a dive. I mean, the plot dive. is being it was lost. Never, here. never a dive, it's well, never a dive. He's just blocked Valencia there. Do you think that if he's lost it, 
just a bit. He's just lost it. <laughs> and for I mean, me, the irony, the irony of it all is the fact that everyone wants to stamp out diving. Yes, when it's absolutely obvious. Yeah. Hey, I, mean, I have and, no uh, problem. If the, the big, but, the, you can stamp <laughs> out diving. You don't need to do that. <laughs> something else, by the way. Something else that happened there. I, Valencia was throwing the ball, and yeah. Roberto Di Matteo almost kind of rugby yeah. tackled him from behind. I yeah, blocked him. I, yeah. <laughs> Should have been booked. <laughs> So United are playing out time, five minutes of added time, we played two minutes of it already, anything could still happen here as Luis goes in a bit clumsily on Robin Van Persie, it's Chelsea 2, Manchester United 3, and Hernandez feeds Valencia, who may run all the way here for Manchester United, and then drags his shot hopelessly wide, much to the delight of the Chelsea fans, but it's a crumb of comfort for them no more than that, because they are going to lose for the first time this season is it, is it worth I know it's quite late on in the day but do you want to hear what Chelsea's system is just now <laughs> oh it's hilarious David Lees is playing in the left wing yeah. currently Louise is playing on the left wing Bertrand is playing up front with Sturridge the ball is wide on the Manchester United right there are more goals for Manchester United if they want to be ambitious of course here Hernandez is boxed in a bit down the right hand side invites the challenge from Ashley Cole and wins the corner kick uh, Gary Cahill holds his head there in the pelt. goodness knows what John Terry is making of it all watching here today and um, it's also quite exhausting to the players if you're particularly the nine you know you there's so much effort and energy put into it you're putting that much extra in especially at the end of the game Chelsea players will be absolutely wrecked after don't forget this Chelsea against Manchester United on Wednesday in the League Cup but there'll be two different 11s and now it's Ryan Giggs riding the challenges plays the ball back to Raphael had a big part to play in that in that final possibly match winning goal Raphael again trading one twos with Ryan Giggs and Chelsea just chasing the ball here it's how Valencia. long is it how long does it take Manchester United to figure out this is what you're supposed to do yeah. do you know how long it's taking Giggs amount of time get Giggs on the ball just now and kill the game and pass it that's exactly what you should do against nine men linking the play Evans now decides not to give the back pass he finds Ferdinand across comes Bertrand Ferdinand Cooley finds Carrick and now Raphael Chelsea 2 Manchester United 3 down the line to Valencia Hernandez looking to make the run and Valencia sees it Hernandez moves towards the touchline though under pressure from Ashley Cole still Hernandez trying to stay on his feet here and he's winning, winning a throw in off Ashley Cole and uh, it, about 10 yards from the corner flag went to the last minute of the added five here Chelsea 2 Manchester United 3 in a game which ought to invite lots of questions and discussion on 606 shortly with Alan Green of course be fascinating to hear Alan's feelings too about the Torres sending off as now Carrick finds I think I can anticipate it oh, I don't know he was sick up with an effort Valencia up to Van Persie I mean Alan more than anyone wants to see the end of diving in the game but we have to do it the right way and now it's Sturridge uh, surrounded by United players winning the winning the free kick on the edge of the centre circle by the way you can get rid of diving in 10 minutes you do it retrospectively steady easy far too simple from FIFA Chelsea 2, Manchester United 3. This could be one last big effort for Chelsea because Mikel will drive the free kick towards the United area. Luis looking to get a knock on. Referee Mark Clattenburg looks at his watch. He's going to get a great reception in a moment from the Chelsea fans. Manchester United on the verge of their first win here for 10 years. They've won it for the first time in the Abramovich era. Manchester United have come to Stamford Bridge and won the game 3-2, but that doesn't tell anything really of the story here. And Manchester, the game without question affected by the sendings off, just when Chelsea were looking to actually come from two goals down to win the game. A Louise own goal, and then a Van Persie, 2-0 for Manchester United early on. Matters free kick before half-time, 2-1 to Manchester United at the half-time. Chelsea came out sharp, Ramirez equalised. Chelsea looking to push on and win the game. Ivanovic sent off, that decision was OK because letter of the law and all that, he has to go. But then Torres was sent off for a second yellow card, which was frankly ridiculous. And then Hernandez, in an offside position, won the game for Manchester United, who go to their fans, and of course, they're very happy. Manchester United moved to within a point of Chelsea. Final score, Chelsea 2, Manchester United 3. That's the reception for the referee as he comes off. Pat, something happens in this game every yeah. single season. You mentioned the 3-3 last season, the year before um, Vidic was sent off and maybe um, Luis should have been. I remember when Manchester United yeah. won the league and there was a late penalty given against Carrick for a handball. There is something about certain fixtures which produces it, but we had it in bucket loads in that last 25 minutes. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is the tension that surrounds the ground, a lot of the fact that there are good players who 
make sure that there are mistakes made by each of other sets of other players. A lot of it is the tension that comes down to the referees. I think they have tough days. It was tough de decisions for them sometimes. I'd love to try and make an excuse for the referee on this occasion, but we get people listening all over the UK here. You know, we get people listening all over the world here. We were desperate to give you a last half hour of brilliant entertainment. We yeah. spoiled with one guy. He got it wrong. He got I mean, it badly wrong. And it's not to take away from the game because it was a great spectacle and we've seen lots of good things. And you know what? There's nothing in it. Either team could have won. But it's a shame that we will only be talking about one topic. I mean, he'd done so much that was right, Mark Clattenburg, hadn't yeah. he? I thought he'd had an excellent game. Ivanovic was denying an obvious goal-scoring opportunity. There is, by the way, no, last, no such thing as last man. It's denying an obvious goal-scoring opportunity. Yeah. That was right. But Clattenburg, a lot of people have been saying to me on Twitter, well, he, why is Torres taking a step and then going down holding his knee? He doesn't no, help he himself, Torres. I can tell you right now, he's kicking the shin. Yeah, no, I'm, that's what I'm saying. So, well, people are saying, well, why is he holding his knee when he goes down? I thought he fell down in his knee, but, but the point is... If you can only send somebody off if you know they have dived. Yeah. Not if you vaguely think they've dived because they've di dived before. If you know they have dived. This is where you get the answer, and this is not complicated stuff. If you do it retrospectively and say, OK, I'm not sure about that, but retrospectively, look at, oh, he dived there. OK, you're banned for three games. Oh, stop it there and then. But that's just too simple, isn't it? Yeah, too simple for FIFA. For FIFA, Because Johnny Evans clearly catches him on the shin, oh, yeah. doesn't he? There's no doubt. There's yeah. not even a shadow of a doubt. And I'll, I'll be the first person to tell you, if uh, a Chelsea player dies, I'm not biased in any way towards Chelsea. Earlier in the season, uh, Hazard's diving was embarrassing. Yeah, Ivanovic, the yeah, diving Matt, was embarrassing. disgraceful. Yeah. So where does that leave us all then? 3-2 and then Hernandez comes from inside the goal. Um, which is which, which in itself, there's nothing wrong with that in itself, but he is still, as you say, that he was in front of everybody, including the goalkeeper when well, the cross I'm, comes I'm, in. But I'm calling it before I've seen mm -hmm. the replay. I can see it from up here. I mean, it's not that it's not complicated, it's not it's not that difficult a call to make. But I haven't said that. And in the midst of it all, it feels as if I'm digging at referees and they're an easy target and so are officials and sometimes it's tight and they're doing their very best. If they had the aid of technology, which I strongly believe they should have the aid of technology, do you know what? We wouldn't put these guys under pressure and there wouldn't be all the tension around here and people wouldn't be throwing things on pitches. Not that that is ever an excuse to do that. No, and what it means is that Manchester United, of course, now up to uh, 19 points. Uh, Chelsea 23, so a four-point gap there. It could have been getting bigger and bigger and bigger, that's for sure. Um, and what a game it was too, wasn't it? Manchester United tuning up, Chelsea coming back and suddenly realising who they were. Um, and suddenly, uh, the, is that table not been updated just yet? No, it, now it's been updated as I speak. It's a one-point gap. That's it's right. literally as I speak. Chelsea 22 from nine, Manchester United 21 from nine, Manchester City 21 from nine, Tottenham 17 from nine. I and mean, it was a thrilling game up yeah. till then. And, and, and that's the shame because that is the frustration. The frustration isn't Chelsea losing yeah. a point or three points from someone yeah. like me. The frustration isn't the fact that it turned into a boring game. It's that it didn't need to turn into the type of game it did. All the tension was taken out, all the excitement's taken out of the game. The passion was kind of taken out of the game to some degree as well because, you know, 10 against 11, there is still within the English game, there is still a huge amount of doubt there. You put it 9 against 11 and you're destroying it completely and it's, it's a real sad shame because we've waited a long time for this. This is the first real Super Sunday, a much overused phrase, <laughs> but a real Super Sunday. And you know what? Both of the games are decided in goals or goals that shouldn't have been and one that should have been and the, the, assistant, the referees have got it wrong. And that's a dreadful sadness seeing as we've all waited a long time, we've all got built up for it and once again, the same problem that all of us know how to fix.